wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithms. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push our lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on to bigger banquets. This that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday. Turn a blue day to a bright hue, yellow with a smooth day in here. Extra fruit, the brand. You can't move me. The music is man. It's a con job, but this grand. I'm blessed with a great hand. Amongst many that stand, yeah, it took some hard work. Blind up, play a huge role. And they say that I don't, but they're feeding you fool's gold. No, I know one thing the truth's home. Even if it's a tough thing to swallow, an even harder thing to hold, and truly know without a doubt while on the globe. Even though that seems inherent, it ain't always so apparent. Dangle carrot, you ain't always gonna get it. But don't worry, it's a pretty February. In a year with more to carry, and more days is yet to call. Under the sun, taking the ferry to the city. But the moment's extra pretty, like the people, like the idea that I keep inside my brain that isn't equal to the real world. All that stress ain't saving me, fear though. I swear to God, I'm trying. But they pushing the demons down my esophagus. Screaming the easy life, what I want all of ways. Praise, wait up holidays. Tell me that love is the answer just to boost this economy. But I'm more sell now, but I ain't following. I ain't a hollow man. I'm full of them fall winds. Take it all with a tall grin. And if you feel it, do it with me. And just sing with the song, say it all for what it is. What it is, what it is, what it is. It ain't all so big. So big, so big, so big, so big. Take it all for what it is. What it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. It ain't all so big. It ain't all so big. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, y'all. It's me, SB, and this is Unsolicited. And tonight, first of all, thank y'all for being here. And tonight, we got an awesome show for you all. But first of all, I got to bring up my co host, Black Man Unfiltered. Come on up, Black Man. Really beloved. Hello, sir. Security boss, how are you doing this lovely evening? I see that you have on your beautiful black and white, and you. Oh yes, that's my that's why I'm about, I'm about to kill it outfit today. Uh huh. You know I don't know if I'm gonna kill it, but we're gonna try. We're gonna slay it if not nothing else. <laughs> you know, it might be able to still get up and go, but we're gonna do our best. <laughs> how you doing? I'm doing magnificent. And uh, how are you today? How how's Mister Boss today? Come on, Mister Boss is wonderful back there doing his thing. Really beloved. And I'm doing absolutely wonderful also. So thank you so much for asking. Absolutely. Listen, um, I was going, I was saving this for you because I was like, me and black men need to do something. We need to, we need to call our show something on Monday so we can like go around the world like we did last week. Not this that we have to this week, but I was like, we should call it like um Monday wrap up or something. What you okay. think? Yeah, that sounds good. Monday wrap up. I like yeah, that. we start getting some stuff to take us all around the world and you know, talk about all this other stuff that be going on, which we don't talk about much, but right. you know. So I, I like that. So that, that'll force us to go get some news so we can share some stuff with everybody, you know. Right. So that's 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 something I'm thinking about. But before we get started, mm -hmm. let's say hello to a few people that are in the um, chat right now in the comment section. Absolutely. How everybody's doing. Mandrell, Mandrell, how you doing? Bro, man, it's good to see you, bro, man. Bro, man, you on time today. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Eugene Steele, Mr. Steele, uh, it's good to see you. Alvin O, hello, how are you? Red Lipstick Vice, how you doing? You know what? You got to catch me up on it. How's your love life? Mm -mm. Hmm. That's right. Uh -oh. uh, XDMC, hello, how are you? It's good to see you. Big Bear Bull, how are you? And thank you, sir, for being such an outstanding moderator. Thank you for being here. <laughs> um, the lead attorney, how you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Please. That's right, Miss C. Miss C, how you doing? It's me, Miss C. I added a little bit, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's so good to see you all. And guess what, guys? When you're coming into the live, make sure you're giving us a thumbs up. We would appreciate it so very much. And um, 
Got that guy. Uh oh. Realistic vibes and she got the ring. Oh! Congratulations. Oh my goodness. There you go. Real love. It don't take five years, do it. Go, girl. Congratulations, girl. I'm serious. Oh my God. I feel like I've been here the whole time. Just monitoring from the back. <laughs> <laughs> it is so good to hear that. Really, really, it is. Congratulations. Gosh, that is so good to hear. But um, Black Man, what you got? Anything happening in your world that you want to share with us? I have not. I've really been news clueless this weekend. But what you got? Mm -hmm. Have you heard anything that you want to share? Before well, you, we know, I, you know, I send you everything that I, I get. Um, oh, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk oh, about it. Oh, my God. That, yeah. that young lady, Jesus. If, if, do y'all got the audio at least? Because y'all don't. I mean, I could. Whatever y'all want, then we can. I, I don't know. We we don't, but we go. Oh. Let's just, let's just let's just ad lib and just we gonna just pray. Yes, to you. Lord Jesus. That was a lot. Wasn't it? Yeah, that was a lot. Uh, but you know what, security boss, I want to talk about me for a second. Let me tell you what I did. Okay, good. I I have to hold myself accountable. About four days ago, I don't know if you got an opportunity to see it. Four days ago, you know, I like to stay in my square. You know, I don't really respond to people. But then somebody caught me slipping. Uh, I had a bad day and somebody came my way and I gave them all of it. You gave them all of it. You just, uh, just you didn't yeah. hold back nothing. No, nah, I didn't hold back nothing. I, I went all the way in. No uh, secrets, uh, nothing. No, nah, I mean, no, no, I don't, I don't do that now. I'm a grown man. I don't do the secret thing. But what I did was I had a situation where somebody came, I came on a panel and okay. when I presented myself on the panel, uh, the young lady said, oh, it's my turn. It's to, oh, I need to leave. And I said, and I said, okay, bye. And she stuck the middle finger up at me. And, and so I didn't say anything. I, I, I stayed in my square. And um, as time went on, she waited till I said one particular thing. Oh, I remember what I said. I said, uh, she said that black women's sex drive is higher than, uh, than men's in, in their younger ages. And I said, that's probably why we have so many. Uh, that's why 70% of all children are born are out of wedlock to single moms. And when I said that, um, it went from, I'm a mother of this, you stupid, you ignorant. I mean, just went in on me. I mean, bad. Mm -hmm. And um, I matched her energy. <sighs> yeah, I, I didn't try. I, listen, normally I won't say nothing. Normally I laugh at all, but I, I just went in the mood. And I matched her energy, and it didn't end well for her. And so. Um, oh, wait a minute. How did it end? Uh, with her being quiet. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it didn't end well because I said some things I shouldn't have said. I, I, I will admit to that, and I will hold myself accountable to that. I said some things that I should not have said to this, like to this young, to a woman. Period. Yeah, so I have to hold myself accountable. Yep, yep, yep. Black man, I appreciate that so much. But let me ask you a question: Have you, um, have you had an opportunity to speak to her, or you don't feel like it's necessary? I don't. I don't feel like it's necessary because okay. because she comes from a group of people. Um, that was a part of the army that was already didn't like black men unfiltered. If you catch my drift. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. See, I thought I knew who it was, but I didn't know that part. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. That would have happened. So I had to hold myself guys. Listen, don't let people get you out to square. You know, um, normally I don't do that, but even if you're having a bad day, just take a deep breath and don't let people get you out, out of your, out of your, out of your square. That's that's my words of encouragement for today. Well, listen, I appreciate you for coming here and accounting for it. And, um, you know, you say no apologies needed, but I, I would love for everybody to get on the right track so we can just have conversation because mm -hmm. you begin by saying this from a group of people that don't feel good about you in the beginning. Right. I mean, we need to flush that out. Right. <laughs> well, well, one of the things that the young lady said to me is when she, before she started cussing me out and calling me names before, and then I reacted to that. Uh, she said, "I don't know you, but I don't like you." Mm. Wait a minute. <laughs> she said, "What? I don't know you, but I don't like you." Yeah. Wow. Well, black man, you know what? That's what we're here for. We we're we're here to try to work out on work on our traumas, mm -hmm. work on our dysfunctions, figure out why we. Um, truly don't like a person that we don't know, <laughs> you know, cause that's almost saying, you know, you ain't said a word to me, but I don't like you anyway. That's kind of, that's, that's, that's tough. Exactly. Um, gosh. 
So, of course, that's coming from, like you said, maybe some a group of people or something or, mm -hmm. you know, something that she may be seen or heard you do or something to that, that effect. Right. You know what? Is that that's you? Oh, um, you can't worry about that. You got to elevate. You know, I'm glad you accounted for it for it. I'm hoping that she does the same. And um, not that I want either one of you all to feel bad, but I want both of y'all to recognize where well, it ain't got to be like this. I would just love to have conversations with people who, like you said, someone created a whole video about you. Oh, yeah. Video trying. You know what I mean? What is this about? So hopefully they can. um have the conversations and work it out. I mean, not it's not going to change who you are, but at least they can no. understand where you're coming from. Absolutely. <laughs> and yeah. no, you know, no, it ain't about them. Wow. No, it is not about them. Mm -hmm. Well, um, tonight. Oh, yes. Uh, we're going to, me and Miss the boss was talking about, we were, we were on this lane. We were in this lane already. Mm -hmm. And, um, we just didn't know how we were going to bring it over. And I just, just so you just happened to send over a video and it's like, click, 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 click. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Perfect. This is perfect. Um, but tonight's uh, official title, let's see what tonight's official title is. You know, I'd be forgetting. It says, what does a submissive woman deserve? If, did I say it right? What does yeah. a, what What's should a submissive woman get in return? Get in return? Yeah. We need to say that slow. What the, what should a submissive woman get in return? Now, this is going to be a good one because we're going to take our time. Mm -hmm. We're going to walk through this because um, it's not that I have a blueprint, but there is an actual blueprint out there, which I have, uh, which I try to follow. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to share it with you. It's not a secret. It's not a secret at, the, at all. It's out there for anybody who wants to look at it. <laughs> But I'm going to try to follow it and share some very important things because we can definitely achieve this kind of uh, life that we want. Hey, Mel. Hey, Ine. Mr. C, how are you doing? Bethany, good to see you. Ine, what's going on, girl? I see you. I see you. We can definitely. Mike Dub. Mr. C. It's good to see you, Mike, on a Monday. <laughs> Um, we can definitely achieve this, the marriages, these long-term Stephen Day. We can definitely achieve these marriages that we want, but it does require work and it does require some form of order. And like I said, I don't have the blueprint, but I know where it is. So the topic, what should a submissive woman get in return? Now, the video that you sent over that we're not able to retrieve for whatever reason, but we're going to get into it anyway. This young lady was laying in the bed and for uh, not the first thing she said amongst many things she said, the one thing we picked up on is that she said, I'm lazy. That, exactly. At, right out the door. She ain't she said, I'm, lazy. <laughs> I'm lazy. Now there were a couple of things I did not uh, hear from her. I didn't hear how long she had been married. Um, or any, I didn't hear that. Did you pick up on anything like no, that? Maybe she's, not, like, yeah, she's not married at all. What? Yeah. That's what she said in the beginning. She said, uh, this is why I will probably be alone for the rest of my life. But that, I thought this was coming from a divorce person, oh. someone that was contemplating divorce. Nope. <laughs> Wait a minute, black man. How would she know all these things that she spoke of and she's not married? She's not married. Oh my God. That makes it a hundred percent worse. Yep. Oh my goodness. This is what I took away. This is my takeaway. I thought it was a young lady that was married, had been married for some years. Right. Mm -hmm. And I felt like she was, um, contemplating the divorce. Exactly. And was just, excuse me, complaining about some of the things that was in her marriage. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just tell you, this woman said, basically I'm lazy. I don't want to clean up behind my husband. Well, I thought husband, right. Right. I don't, don't want to clean up behind no man. Mm -hmm. Actually, I said. just be with a, a, an adult man and, and, and he gets me things sometimes and I do things for him sometimes. Why do I have to do everything? Why I got to be his secretary? Why I got to be his, um, why I got to make his appointments? You sure this woman wasn't with a man? She wasn't with a man? No, ma'am. she you know all about this stuff? If, if, you, if you go to the end of the video, she said, this is why I will probably never get married and I will always be alone. Well, I didn't hear the never married part, but I hear her. I did hear her say, I don't like dogs and I don't like cats, but I'm a plant lady. Yeah. I heard her say that part, but God, I ain't kidding. Jeez. But anyway. Spread it out there. The women watching that, you should see the comments. They love her. They love her. Wow. So I want to get, I want to, I want you to tell me. I, well, okay. What do you, what is your opinion of that? What is your opinion of that video about someone 
complaining about being <laughs> in her case, thinking about being a wife. What would you like? What would you what is your idea of that video? What give me some feedback? Oh Lord have mercy. Where do I start? She said, I'm lazy, I'm not cleaning up, I'm not cooking. Um, she said the main reason why women men want wives is because they want wives to come in and help them with everything. She actually said this, men benefit more from marriage than women. Right. I don't agree with that, but that was one thing that stuck out in my mind. Go yes. ahead. You talked about picking up the socks. Pick, I ain't picking up no socks. I'm not doing this, blah, blah, blah. She said when she gets with a man, a man needs to be well put together, but she don't have to do nothing for him. She said she don't want to have to take care of him. She wants an adult. She wants, she said she don't want us to get gifts here and there. On holidays, she wanted to be acknowledged for what she does. She wants an adult. Why can't he, you know if she's been out all day? She tired too. Why can't she? Yeah. Uh, why can't he cook? Why yeah. can't this? Why? <laughs> she she's complained for about three minutes. <laughs> right, and she said people ask her. You know, me and ask her. Well, what do what do you bring to the table then? What what do you? I mean, what do you bring into the relationship? And she say, "Sa ah ha, see." That's why that's why I can't do it because y'all want me to bring me in for me to do something for y'all. I don't she I think that she's uh two sandwiches away from a picnic. Um, I don't think she'll ever get married. I think that when she passes by Walmart's parking lot and see them selling puppies, she definitely is divide one. Uh already said she don't like dogs and cats. She said she's gonna be the plant lady. She already oh, yeah, said yeah, that's right. Yeah, she the cactus then or something. Yeah, but you know what? The one thing that she said though, and let me just be honest with you. I'm not totally out out the window with this woman because I, I totally had the wrong idea. I thought it was a married woman, had been married for some years. I actually thought she was a submissive woman. Right. And she had, this is my thoughts now. I, could, I was wrong. Mm -hmm. But I felt like she had been the woman that catered to her husband for very a, a long amount of time. And they had just gotten on autopilot and well, she was doing her thing. And then maybe he was just kind of missing it a little bit here and there from what she was saying. Right. And she was saying that he was throwing his socks around. He needed her to do everything, including what she was responsible for also. And she just wanted him to be an adult and acknowledge her for what she was doing as a wife. And when she would bring it to him or men, you all would say, this is unreasonable. <laughs> ah, Davey, listen. We're trying to get the video up. It was a young lady in the video. We apologize that we don't have the video, but we're trying to get the video. But you know what? This woman is a lot of women. So I don't know the woman's name, but I hear these type of complaints all the time. Yes. And th that brings us to the question that we have today. And that's what should a submissive woman get in return? You know, what should a submissive woman get in return? Now, we're taking for granted that the woman is submissive. <laughs> And black man, what should a submissive woman you think get in return? Uh, a submissive woman, everything. Tell me what that looks like. I think that. Oh my goodness! I think that. Oh wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! Is it that much? Okay, okay. It's, it's a lot. Get your pen and paper out. I think. Ah! A, I think a submissive woman should she she deserves everything. I think even if we look at it, I'm gonna start. You know, I always we start what we believe. I think in the spiritual realm of things, even the Bible says that a woman, a submissive woman, will be well respected by her. She'll be loved by her children, honored by her husband. Um, you know, the people at the gates will 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 praise her uh, for her submission. And so, you know, I think that I, I feel the same way in today's terms. I think a submissive woman will be blessed beyond blessed. I think that everything that she touches will grow. Everything that she uh, puts her hands on um, will become blessed and favored um, because. She's being not obedient, just obedient to her husband or to the will or the vision of her husband, but she's being obedient to God who created um, what it is that she's following. So I think a woman deserves a submissive woman deserves. She deserves the world. I think uh, a man, you don't have to have to worry about a man uh, not wanting to do for you when you do what you have to do. So listen, I think we're going to, it's coming off really large, but I think we'll get to play it and then we can talk about it. And I'll tell you exactly what I think, but it's going to make a whole lot more sense if we can hear her words. But the um, video itself is too large right now, but let's see, can we just hear it? Okay. That'll make a huge difference. Yeah, it will. Because she is, I'm telling you guys, you watching right now, when you about to hear, listen to it, <laughs> she, she, she two sandwiches away from a picnic, guys. Ah, it's silly. <laughs> 
She ain't gonna. I'm telling you, she will never get married. I'm telling you. No, no man, what man gonna put up with that? Okay, okay here she goes. And I'm fine with that. I don't want to do anything for you. I don't want to cook for you. I don't want to clean for you. I don't want to be your secretary and set your appointments and chase you around and make you go because of your health. I don't want to pick up your socks for you. I don't want to be one of those people who comes on TikToks and makes funny videos about how you can't do anything for yourself and men do the darndest things and everybody's in the comments like yeah my husband does that too my boyfriend does that too fuck that i want to be with somebody who is an adult a fully functioning adult it's been proven time and time again that men are the ones who benefit from marriage and relationships because we get in them and we do everything and they just get to sit back and receive everything from us. And then as a treat, as a treat, they might do something for our birthday or for Mother's Day. I just, men get to exist in relationships and just receive. Why can't we exist together? And if we do nice things for each other, it's just organic. It just happens. But it's not the expectation. It's not something I have to do because I'm the woman. When I come home after a long day, I don't want to cook either. I don't want to do shit either. Why can't we flip a coin to see who cooks or if we order or we order food and then whoever cooks the other person cleans? Why can't you pick up after yourself? Why can't you set your own appointments. Why do I have to be your secretary? I'm not working for you. I'm not working for you. I am, I have gotten so lazy. I'm not doing anything. And then there are men who will say, well, then what are you good for? What's the reason why someone should be with you? Ah, uh, ah, uh, you're proving my point. You just want to be with somebody to do everything for you. I just, I want to be with a fully functioning adult male who we can come together and exist together, do fun stuff together. We take turns, we pull our own weight. And that seems to be unreasonable. I, that That's un asking someone to be an adult is unreasonable. I don't even want a cat i don't even want a pet i have a plant i'll be a plant lady i will be happy i will not take care of a grown person i won't all right <laughs> you hear that she's awful man if y'all ever come across a woman like this please run <laughs> please run yeah, yeah i do let, let me read this super chat. Doberman says, um, she is 200 pounds plus masculine, rude, etc. S Y S B M. <laughs> Save yourself, black man. <laughs> Save yourself, black man. Good God. Thank you so much for your two dollar super chat. Listen, she has said already that she's lazy and she does not want to do this. She definitely wants, well, if she had anything, she wanted a partner. But she wanted that man to show up and she wanted him to do more than her, actually, because she just said, I'm lazy. Yep. She's telling you coming in the door, don't have any expectations for me. Just let it be organic. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm just here for casual sex. Sure. I don't even know if she could get ready for that. Yeah. Just dry. <laughs> that thing just dried up. It's ridiculous. And she said, I'm telling you now. I'm lazy. I don't want to do nothing. Why I just can't have an adult man? Why I got to do his calendar? Gia, Gia says, I don't see what she's saying that's wrong. Gia, when you get married, you shouldn't have this type of disposition of what you won't do. When we get married, we, we strive every day to become one with our yeah. spouses. Exactly. You don't go into a relationship with these type of... um stipulations and i think really i talked beloved. about that on friday these are stipulations and i i said on friday if a woman comes with a to, to you with the list you need to run she had a whole list of things that she didn't want to do exactly also she's a woman that's saying she's lazy that is a no no women shouldn't be lazy nobody should be lazy but mm. what about children 
we have to care for children. You have to care for your spouse. He, her, he, you know, he cares for her. She cares for him. Of course, we all want a man that is willing to help out, of course. But her presentation, the things she said were unacceptable. And I'm sorry. And Gia, I hate that you don't understand that. <laughs> I really do. Because you seem like to be a very smart young woman. You don't come into a marriage telling somebody what you won't do. Marriages are not like that. The whole thing should be organic, but there is order to marriage. And that's where we were talking about now. But before we get started, we're going to go to Mr. Steele. Mr. Steele has uh, blessed us with a $10 um, super chat. And he says, it is funny that she talks about wanting a man who is an adult and she is the one being immature. She does not understand what a relationship is. She does not understand the man already works. Um, you get the Money Line song for that. You know what? There's so many things that your spouse could probably need or may need within a relationship that you can't go into a relationship with this type of attitude. He may hurt himself and he can't do anything. What? Right. Then? Why would you? I need a man that is this. I'm lazy. So that's me. That's, that's actually saying don't ask me for nothing. Exactly. And that's probably also saying I'm not going to be really good for you or to you. That is ridiculous. And you don't need a you don't marry. or have a companion for that. You two are there to, I'm not going to use the word complete, but you're two there to become one flesh. Right. Um, Y'all on one accord. You're thinking a lot. You're doing things for each other. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to have a marriage like that. It's okay where you do for your husband, your husband does for you. It's okay. That's all. But I would love to hear more from you though, Gia. But listen, going back to this, what does a su submissive woman deserve? I'm, I'm going straight for the order. You know, we always talk about the order of marriage and it goes from the father, Jesus, the man, and then the wife coming from the man. What a woman that is submissive deserves is love. Mm. Now, does. understand, I'm not talking about no emotion per se. I'm talking about the love that's in Corinthians. Y'all got to go check it out. Right. It's, love is patient. patience. It is kind. Yeah. Y'all listen, patient. Even with that young lady right there, if she had a husband, he would be kind to her. He would be patient to her. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Now, she herself, she was a victim. She was rude, I think. And it is not self-seeking. Yeah, I got it right here if you want me to read it. She was very self-seeking. Yes. But listen, guys. That's not allowed. <laughs> love, Dearly beloved. the love that a husband has for a submissive woman, because that's what he wants. Let's, let's look how simple this is, guys. If a husband gives his things to his wife, which is all in love, and you can go ahead from that one, black man, after self-seeking, what you got? Oh, self -seeking. it is not easily angered. And this is the most important one. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, it always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Dearly beloved. Well, if all women live by that as wives and all men live by that as husbands, what the, the divorce rate would go down to 3%. Why don't they? It's, it's been put in front of them what they say they want. They want <laughs> the marriage. They go get it. You ask the woman to marry you. She says yes. The man, uh, the father has told the man, the husband, love your wife first. Mm-hmm. Then he said, women submit to your husband. Yep. And, well, and it's, it's amazing to me that we run to the church to come together, but we don't go back to the church to stay together. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't understand that. I don't, I don't get how people don't go back to the person. You sat in front of God and made these vows. And as soon as things get bad, I ain't thinking about Jesus. Let, I'm a, listen, uh, why do we make it so hard? I don't know. Self it's so easy to have a conversation. Do you know what, self you know what self seeking is? Selfish as hell. Yes, selfishness. Yes. Come on. That's the number one thing that that's the you know what they need to add that to the number one divorce. <laughs> the self mm -hmm. I agree. Selfishness, because it yep. is. 
Yep. Self-seeking. That's the number one cause of divorce. It ain't official, y'all, but that's really what it is. When a person turns inward and thinks more about themselves than the person they're married to, and that's what sends them to the divorce. And that woman right there, she did not, she didn't display in her list of things, her stipulations, the ability to love. Exactly. And would, you know, ho, oh, you know, I was all wrong. I was giving her the benefit of the doubt. I had no idea that she was a single woman because I now I'm trying to figure out where is she getting all this knowledge from. Mm -hmm. like she's already picked up behind a man somewhere like she's been cooking for a man like like she don't what none of it never happened it never yep. happened and, and she's not a wife she's you not know, one and, and you know remember the other day i told you in the chat when i sent you that super chat leave her in the parking lot of the restaurant that's the one you leave in the parking lot no you don't even take her she's visited too much she's already been to the restaurant too much leave her yeah. there bob don't bother i'm finna uh -oh. You got some allergies? Yeah, I oh, see it coming. You know I do. You know I do. Ah. Bless you already before you even start. But listen, that is what a submissive woman gets in return. But but she does have to be submissive. But that's the return. Do you see how easy this is? How easy this can be? I mean, yeah, absolutely. This is the blueprint. But we fight and we fight mm -hmm. and we fight. It, and husbands. And, and I'm going to give you a prime example. And um, shout out to Harrison's family value. Um, he did a video the other day with um, talking about Russell Wilson and Sierra. A lot of people did it, you know, talking about how he uh, has brought up some flowers. You know, he's surprised with all the flowers and stuff in the garden and what have you. And of course, you know, he getting hit up pretty bad for doing all that for his wife, the one he loves, you know. I, I, can, tell you why, about that. I can tell you why. You tell me why. Why he getting hit up like that. Why? He does a lot of great things for her, and I have nothing against Russell Wilson. I think he's a great guy. I think he's a man of God. Yep. Um, I think that even before he got with Sierra, you would see him, even when he played opposing teams, he would go over and get opposing teams, whether win or lose, and he would bring them in for prayer. Both right. Teams. You know, he's a he's a man. Oh, he's a he's a man's man. He's a he's a godly man for sure. Uh, the reason that a lot of people drag in him is because even though he's a godly man, they're questioning his leadership because he said now that his wife is in under the, under him uh, and he's leading her, that her life has changed and she's no longer the woman she was before he met her. Okay. Um, and so he speaks on that. And then a day later, she's on a beach in the sand with her ass out, rolling and, and, and making love to the sand with, for all the men to see. And then, you know, and that, you know, and he's saying that, you know, she's this rehabilitated woman that she don't want to live that life no more. And I'm like, okay, she don't want to do the stuff that got her in bad situations back in the day. Okay. So you ended up with future. Future was a horrible man. I uh, got kids all over the planet and then you had sex with him, made a bad decision and got him pregnant by him. So he got you pregnant. Every woman he just slept with, he got him pregnant. Ooh, um, yeah. He got about nine to 10 now. And then you you get with Russell. Russell shows you everything, gives you the world. A man's worth half a billion dollars right now. And you still feel the need to go out on the beach. Get I mean, because you could tell she was tipsy or drunk, or either one. And she's in her bikini and she's just rolling that thing. I mean, any man would be like, oh, Lord. And just recently, two weeks ago, her and her friends pulled up to a 7-Eleven uh, with their uh, blue jean shorts on, cut up real up short to the, to the butt cheeks. And they start twerking on a truck and sliding down the truck and, you know, like they were having sex with the truck and she on top of the truck just shaking her booty. And I'm like, a, a wife is a reflection of her husband. Your husband's saying one thing, but your actions doing another one. What would you say if Russell was the one standing? You see, you know, how, well, you don't know, but I'm going to give you a vision. You, can you imagine that Mr. Boss is no more than six feet away from me? Hmm. But you never I, see him. You never see him, right. Can you imagine if Russell Wilson is six feet away from her and you never see him? Well, I, I, I well, I, okay. Listen, uh, I, that that could be possible. <laughs> However, what I'm saying to you is that I don't know Russell Wilson and I don't know Sierra. I understand and I see what you're talking about. Right. But I also just all those things, all those accolades you gave him as being a leader. Is being and him saying that Sierra is not the woman that you think she is anymore. I can also see him maybe being, you know, a little too lenient, but I can also see him maybe being right there. 
Now, even if he's right there, you saying, but man, he letting it go too far. He may be, he may be, and he might come into that knowledge really soon, but that doesn't change who he is. Mm. What if she made a whole bunch of mistakes with the future and all that kind of stuff? And she's now decided I'm going to get my life back in order. It's time to get order now. But this right here is for my job or what have you. I don't know what she's saying to continue on doing this. This is for my job or whatever. I don't really know. And he said, okay, as long as I'm here or what have you. And then they they proceed on. What now? If what he's supporting you. Now? And he's, he's supporting it because he's there. He's there. Yeah. He's watching yeah. her. Yeah, if he's <laughs> supporting it, I think yeah. that... um that's their decision. That's their what they decide to do in their marriage. Right. But, but what you do, what you what you don't want to do, um, is go on lives and say, "Listen, my wife is a." Uh, what? How did he say? I don't want to lie on the man. My wife is a a new woman. She's a newfound Christian. Everything that she believed prior to me, uh, I've led her to God. She know who God is. Uh, God is in our children. He's in our lives. We walk in him every day. All this, now, this is how Russell talk. He's very intellectual. And then you, then the next day, they're like, damn, Sierra, whoa. And she just twerking that thing, throwing that thing, baby. She knows she's a dancer. She can dance. Jesus. And, and, she, you, and you, feel like it's, um, you feel like he's being a hypocrite, in other words. Yeah, that's why people are... I, I, personally, I, that's their marriage. I ain't got anything to do with that. But the reason I'm saying why they're getting dragged, he's not they, him. It's like, dude, you need to get a handle on your wife. She don't have to work, right? And then she's sitting at home in this big old $100 million mansion, and she just get bored and just go start twerking with her panties on. Like, you're not going to say nothing to your wife? You're not going to try to reel her in? Wouldn't you, think, wouldn't you think that that would be a conflict for him, though? In other words, if he's saying these things and he's not aware of what's going on and mm -hmm. he's not stamping it with approval, wouldn't you think he would say something? Wouldn't you think he would disapprove of it? Maybe, well, like you said, the kind of man he is, he may not say anything. But like somebody oh, he just said, he, said. he he really might be there, and he might feel like you know what? When I met her, this is what she was doing. She has to do this for her entertainment purposes, her job. So I'm not going to fight with her. But my whole point is, Russell Wilson is a excellent man. In my opinion, is an excellent man. He is. He is a family man. Yes. And he values family. Mm -hmm. More than anything, that man values family. And so he's being, because he values family, we are picking at him, not we, not all of us, right. but he's a simp. He's he's negative. He's this and he's that. You know, it's almost like, you know, it just makes me wonder, and we're going to talk about this. Do men, do men value families? Mm. Yeah. Because they do you think so we, 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 we oh no nah, you don't count i'm talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about men as a whole i mean i don't think we think about it because russell has taken in a child that isn't his he also has two more children and he continuously pours into his wife he is he's a excellent display of a husband to his wife he pours into her he loves her despite you remember that list you just read out all that stuff we just talked about yeah. that that he has with her, you know, that let me ask you a question. Do you think it's mostly and and there and well we'll, we'll take them as an example? Do you think it's more of the men follow that love is patient, love is kind, or do you think it's more women? Well, it's it's for the men to do it. Uh-huh. But I I would think um I, I would say none of <laughs> nobody follows it. Yeah, I I think we all struggle at times with it, but this is our saving grace. You know what I mean? If we if we are struggling, we need to refer back to it. But that's actually the man's job to do is to love his wife. If he does nothing else, he needs to love his wife first and foremost. Meaning if you just do this, if you just love your wife, you're going to get what you want. You'll get the submission it's because that, that's what that's what he said. This is that's the blueprint. Mm -hmm. Husbands, love your wife. Now, it ain't just an emotional thing. It's all of these things we talked about. But let's just go through this. Neil Moses, how are you doing today? God forbid. Is it possible Sierra and Russell might be the next Devin Franklin and Megan Good situation? Just a hunch thought. Just a hunch thoughts. Um, let me tell you something. Ooh, I, I, don't I, know. Video the other day. I don't know. I never saw 
and y'all can help me out. I never saw um, Megan's husband do any public uh, signs of affection and things like of that nature. Did you? I, I didn't. I don't know. I'm not saying he didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I mean, he went and gave her flowers and po jump, you know, like like um Sierra and Russell. Uh -huh. and, and he used to yes, and he used to come on camera. Okay. And, I didn't. He, and mm -hmm. he used to say he used to go live. That's all, I just saw a live video of. Uh, I mean, uh, you know how they bring the ones back you saved like a year ago. They bring back your memory or whatever. And I saw a video of him and another couple. And they were in the public praying with other couples and just laying hands on other couples praying together. Him and her were praying together. He was praying over her, touching her head, and he had her all close to him. He was just praying and covering her in prayer and, and telling her how much he loved her and, and thank God for her or whatever. And I mean, and she just said, you know, I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to battle rap her. No, listen, we don't know why they broke up, do we? I know he filed. Yeah, I know, but we don't know why. I, I, you know, I don't know why they broke up, but I'm almost thinking that she didn't want any kids. Probably. Um, I think she put career before her husband again. Self-seeking. Yep. <laughs> Sir seeking exactly. Sir, thank you. For, uh, thank you for your comp your comment. Self, uh, Sir Hale said men do love better than women. You Sir know Hale. what? You probably right, and they should. Cause that was, that was your duty. That is your, that's your part of the marriage. That is your part of the marriage to love. And women are supposed to submit and love, but men are to love their wives, be patient with them, not take, come on y'all. This is so easy somewhat. <laughs> I mean, we got the blueprint. Yeah, this, is a, this, this is addition for you. And some people are uh, looking at it like it's uh, uh, algebra. Uh, well, I but, think sometimes people don't know. Yeah. You know, when you, when you when you don't know, you don't know. The Doberman, thank you so much for your five dollar super chat. Says black men value family. No other men would do what Russell or Steve Harvey did to have a family. Their wives are reformed. Their their wives are reformed. This life path is the norm. Um, I'll say that for Russell and Sierra. I I'll take that over Steve and his wife. I. I you know, I, I I think that um, because we call Steve the simp emperor, and the reason for that is because because Steve gives off this this ego that because okay when he met his wife he was married. Now, let's let's look at it like it is. When he met her, he was married. Really? Absolutely. Okay, I don't know. I don't fool with people in there. I'll send you. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you the, the video clip when and he tell the story. When he met her, he was married. He's doing comedy, and he was okay. married to his second wife because he'd been married. This is his third one he on now. Oh wow. Okay. Uh huh. And so he he met her at a club, and he said, "Oh, this is a beautiful woman." He said he was telling jokes, and while he was married, he said, "Oh, oh yeah, this one right here, I'm gonna marry this one." And was already married. No, no, was already married. And guess what happened? About three years later, when he got a divorce, he married her. He married her. Now, and then they talk. He talked. Now we talk about the history of the of the wife because you know she's beautiful. Oh, she's gorgeous. That woman's pretty. You mean the, uh, the Harvey Lori Harvey's mother? Yeah, she's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, and um, Marjorie. She, she Marjorie. was dating Marjorie. Uh huh. She was dating a drug dealer, and wow. the drug dealer got popped and went to prison for a very long time, and then she started dating his brother. <sighs> Then the brother got popped. It don't sound right because that sound like some stuff. <laughs> that don't sound right. That sound like some stuff Lori did. Uh, uh, <laughs> my like mother. Uh, come on now, you see what I'm talking about? And so oh, she, then God. the brother got popped for drugs. And then three years later, it was right on time for Steve because she was single at the time he was, and he married her. And then he wrote a book and said, "Think like a man." So. so Gosh, so so okay. So what you're saying that you don't think Steve value? You think Steve is more of about himself and not about the family? Or what is your call on Steve? You well, can well, say she, well, she's self seeking as well because one oh. day she surprised him on his show, and he was sitting there. He said, "What's what? Am, why why are you here?" And she said, "Oh, I just want to talk to you about something. We needed a, a third party to come in, a mediator." And he said, "Okay." So Doctor Phil came at it by cheering. He said, "Ask Doctor Phil why are you here?" And he was like, "Let's just have a seat." And mm -hmm. she really opened up to the to the public. And she said, Steve is very nasty. He don't clean up behind himself. When he eat out of a bowl, he expect people to go pick the bowl up and go wash it. Okay, who she sound like? 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Now watch this. Now, now, that woman that we just listened to on exactly. that. Yeah. And, and guess what? And guess what Steve said? Steve said, you don't do nothing. You don't have. No, he said on TV right in front of everybody. You don't do nothing. You don't have no job. I'm the breadwinner. I bring the money. If I put a pair of pants on the floor, so be it. Pick them up. If I leave a bowl, you pick it up and go wash it. He said, I don't have to do nothing. All that money I'm bringing in. He said, don't ask me to do nothing. I'm not doing that. Mm. And she was looking like this. If you didn't have this money, you ugly nigga. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, she was looking at him like, nigga. You know? He said, very manipulative. You yeah. know what? That's what it is. Okay, so listen. We Come on, Hank. You see what he said. Steve Harvey's wife was a three. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? sure was. He know it. He know it. Well, listen, maybe she's a converted woman. But listen, I just want to know this because it seems like I wouldn't dare call Russell Wilson a simp because he's loving his wife. No. And, and until she does something wrong it, for him, to him, or till he see her error, I'm with him because I don't mind him showing that he loves his wife and he loves his family. And then he's a right. family man and he values his family so much. And I just want to make sure that um, that's what's happening because I, I heard someone say today and it was awful to hear that um, he said that the women have traded in the men for the federal government and the men there. What did he say about the men? Basically, the men are just out there doing nothing, you know, and I'm thinking, what do you mean? Why are you saying that men don't value their families? He was like, since the women traded in the men for the federal government, mm -hmm. men are are where doing what? He make it right. seem like men are just out here doing nothing. And, and another thing I want to add to this whole Sierra Russell thing is that you know Russell used to be an advocate for women being them natural, beautiful selves without being out in the world. He said women should not be of the world, right? And this is before Sierra. Mm. women should not be and that's and that's a lot of people you know how people are internet don't never die any video you put out there gonna be out there forever so somebody put uh, together i'm gonna send it to you mr boss somebody put together a whole video monologue of everything he said before he met sierra and then he married a woman that that represented everything that he was against i i, I can't help but to think okay so we don't know them we don't live next door we haven't seen the police be called to the house or anything like that she hasn't right. done anything wrong they've been they've had two kids they've been together for some time now i i i just think that he's right there i have a feeling that he's right there with her just like mine is with me and if he is i'll i'll you know if, if he is because like again because somebody in the chat said i'm a i'm a hater at all times no i'm not hating i'm just looking at it for what it is but however Whatever anybody chooses to do with their life is what they do. We're, this is for this is for entertainment purposes only. However, if he's there with her, cool. If he's not there with her, cool. If he's not mad about it, why should we be mad about it? We just having a conversation about it. I mean, yeah, if that's, if that's, yeah. yeah. If his wife want to be like that, she want to be twerking on the truck and getting twenty million views because that thing look good in the thong and some and some and some blue jeans shorts. Okay, that's fine. We all she gonna keep getting them views. The men gonna keep growling at her feet. Well, make sure, guys, when you come into live, you give us a thumbs up. But you do know entertainers do anything for money. And I just feel like he's there with her. I, I mean, yeah. I could be so wrong. I hope and pray they have a good marriage. But I love the way that Russell pours into his wife and into his family. And I hate that men think that what, what's going on now, and it's not just men, I don't think. But what's going on now when men do right things by their wives or their family, it's considered to be wrong. Because I was having some conversations in um. You know, we were just talking and, and some, a man, some men told me that, you know what, I, I used to didn't even want to put a car seat in the back seat because he didn't want the didn't want the idea of, of not to look cool. Didn't even want the car seat. Didn't want oh, yeah. people in with the car seat in the car. I, I know men that don't even want to push a shopping cart in the store. Right. Or, or don't <laughs> want to give. What would what I be capping about? <laughs> Gretchen, what I'm, Gremlin, what am I capping about? I don't know what I'm capping about, but guess what? I'm capping. You know, don't want the car seat to be shown. Don't want to give. Don't want to show any public affection because it ain't cool. And it's all about what mm -hmm. is it your ego. Is it what other people are gonna think? Are you mad at you? You you think you're concerned? How you were about raised? That? Because you I, raised? I remember my uncles and my grandfather told me that dumb shit. I'm sorry, darn dumb stuff. <laughs> I think when they told me you a man, you're supposed to be pushing no cart, at no store. You're supposed to be washing no dishes. You don't. That ain't no man job. That's your woman job, boy. I bet I never catch you. In the store pushing a shopping cart like a female. I, I remember that as a kid. Being told it as a kid. 
So this is deep. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, shopping cart. I never even thought about that. Because mm -hmm. what you stuff by yourself? What, man, what you gonna right. oh, Hold it in your hand? Okay, you right. get a <laughs> and I remember my wife said, "What are you gonna get the shopping cart?" Mm -mm. <laughs> she said, hey, oh, what does the shopping cart have to do with you being man, a man?" I swear, I promise you, I had to, I had oh to get over God. it. I had to really get through that because it was like I hear I, you know how people be instilled in your mind so long, and when you get in a position, you hear them speaking to you. I heard my granny, "You but I get that damn shopping cart." You know, so it's like you know. I said, mm -mm. "She said what?" I said, "You can get it." <laughs> Mr. Thunder <laughs> Mother Trucker say I feel attacked. I'm the non-cart pusher. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I told you. Guess what? That means you ain't pushing the stroller either, right? <laughs> oh my God. Man, you got to stop. See what I'm saying? Why is this wrong? Why is it wrong for a man to participate in his family's life this way? Why is it wrong for a man to put uh, listen, what don't let it be that triple stroller with the three babies? We're gonna make it real bad, huh? <laughs> The car seats all over the back seat. All three right. will have triplets, three car seats. I mean, why is that? See, that, that represents family. That represent that takes you off the market and makes you less what attractive to other women. What what, what was the theory behind yeah, you? I, I have no idea, but I came out of it real quick, man. I, I you know, as you get older, you look back and you say, you know, that's stupid. You know, I you can't hold your woman's hand. Um, why you can't well, hold your woman's hand in the mall or, well, you know, I don't know if you want to or not, but yeah. what I'm, is, what makes you a simp if you're pouring into your family, if you're pouring yeah. into your wife, what makes you a simp to do that? I've, I've never done that. I've never not, I've never not been affectionate. I've never not. I'm always the planner and I, I'm one of those people I like to give, but it's kind of awkward for me to receive. Oh, you okay. Like, like, I like to give a lot. But in return, I don't feel like I need anything in return. I, I just want to give, 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 give. Guess what I do? I'm a giver. That's what I do. I give, 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 well, give, give. I think Spoiled Baby says men don't support good family. Let me go back and read that. Men don't support good. Uh, men don't support good family. Um, family yeah. men. They make fun of family men. They That's do. what I'm saying. Do they men do. really value family? They do. Because this is a big problem. You mm -hmm. know, this is a huge problem because we women need to be valued in some way. Right. Men, men do too, but we do that with the submission. And we want you all to do that with the love. And if we could get that done, then we, we would, like you said, the divorce rate would drop tremendously. Absolutely. But why do you have to mistreat your woman? Why, why do you have to be steady? Y'all do know that the woman you sleep with feels these things, don't you? Yep. She know when you put this brick wall between you and her or when you uh worried about who watching you or who's looking if you hold her damn if you push the shopping cart. If you yep. got the car seat in the back or not. Women know. Women can feel that. Listen guys, when you consummate a marriage, it's a real thing. Exactly. It's a real and then you keep doing it. It's a real real thing. They begin to feel you. They do. Gosh. This is a big deal. Yeah, it is. And I think, like I said, again, I never had a problem because especially my daughter. Oh, my God. But she is so precious. Jesus. Even now, I hold her hand. She's 11 and I still hold her hand. I still, you know, uh, take my baby on daddy daughter dates, open her door, make her feel like she's just the princess of the universe because that's my baby, man. I, I still pick her up. She's like, dad, ain't too big. No, you ain't gonna never be too big. Come here. You can be 20 years old. I'm still picking you up. Come here. But you know, I mean, I've I've just never had that problem with being affectionate with my with my my nobody. I just never. I don't I don't know. But I we're did get talked about though. I did. I did. What? Damn! You can't leave that woman alone. You can't stop holding her hand. Damn! You gotta be up under her like that. I say, damn! You ain't got no teeth and you ain't married. You sixty three years old and single. Ain't got no teeth. Got no ain't married and no wife. No nothing. Nothing. Can't yeah. even get a woman to treat them good. But right. you know what? Um. Uh, someone who's this? Peppy says um, Russell Simp Simp Russell Wilson is an automatic simp because he's a stepdad. Let me say this, and I'm gonna move on. Again, we are the things that are good we talk negative about, and the things that are bad we praise. Russell Russell Wilson is a stepdad to Future's child. This is true, but understand this: this was a child whose father obviously wasn't there. They had some agreements, of course, right? So what would be, I mean, that has nothing, for me, that has nothing to do with anything. That means he just filled in a gap. There are a lot of children out there that need to have fathers. 
what if it wasn't what if it wasn't Sierra's? What if he just wanted a son? And what if it was his sister's child? Or what if it was, what if it was someone else that had a need or a woman who maybe had a struggle with drugs or whatever? And he was a mentor to the child. And he said, you know what? Come on in my life. I'm gonna make you my son. What what mm. you know what I mean? What is wrong with being a good man and having values? The man has enough to go around. Now he definitely does. Right. Why not share these things? Now, not all men, not all men have the kind of resources that Russell has. But I'm just trying to figure out how do we get back to valuing family instead of being called something negative? Right. If we do the right thing. And, and, and says, thank you so much for your five dollars. Super J says, black women gaslight about their understanding of the Russell Wilson topic. Black men value family and love. The issue is it's the norm for good black men to take horrid horrid deals wow hmm i you know what that's what we need to see because what i understand and what i hear a lot in these spaces but i know a lot of stepdads so you may be right but in these spaces all i hear is russell is a simp and i don't know nothing about russell's yeah. personal and life. when they say he do it because he's a stepdaddy um uh, jokingly i heard on some panels uh the men say when Sierra tells Russell, "Hey, don't you talk to my child like that?" Russell was Russell could say, "Okay, well, I'm just going to Europe. I'll be right back." You know, when you got five hundred million dollars in your account, you're not going to be mad every day about nothing your wife say or your kids. But a lot of men out here do get into relationships, and I've on I've been on a panel with some women, and the women have said this: If I get with a man, he can't tell my child nothing. You can't discipline my child. You can't correct my child. My child is my child. Don't say nothing to my child. That's wrong. Right? So a lot of women have said, I'm, I'm telling you, the women on my panel have said this direct out their mouth. Don't touch my child. You can't discipline them. Don't anything go on my child. You come get me. I agree. I mean, that's wrong. I mean, that's the wrong thing. I don't know. I don't think Sierra's doing that, but that's right. wrong. I don't think she is either. 500 when, million dollars shut up. When you marry a man, he's definitely number one. And then the family comes afterwards. And he does need to be able to discipline the children. If y'all need to have a conversation about how it needs to go, I understand that. But he he has to be able to say something to your children. Right. If you want him to be. Now, that would be a situation I wouldn't advise a man to get into if that's the case. And it, Russell doesn't seem like he's that type. It seems like the little boy and Russell got a really good relationship. But again, we don't know anything about them. You know, once they grow up a little bit more, we'll see. Uh, thank you so much, Dober, uh, man, for your two dollar super chat. And it says take a baby number eight as black women. HVM or you hate family. Uh, hashtag boys. Do you know what he's saying? Are she saying? I don't take know. A baby number eight as black women. Uh, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. We don't understand your your comment. Forgive us. Forgive us for that. But um, I just think that we should stop talking negatively about the positive things that men do and stop, you know. I, oh, somebody well, asked a real good question in the chat. Okay. They said, I don't keep a track of Russell and Sierra, but do you ever see her applauding and celebrating him? Oh, I don't know, but uh, Mr. Ball <laughs> says yes. Mr. Ball says yes. I don't know, but Mr. Ball says yes, he does. Okay, okay. I ain't I, never seen him, Mr. Ball. So I got you got to see me some of those. I need to. I don't know. I mean, I've seen her in appreciation, but you're saying out getting her doing her own thing initially. Is that what you're saying? Is that the question? I've yeah. seen her in appreciation, like even with right. the flowers, she was like, thank you so much and hugging and kissing and loving on them. And But you know what? I've all, I also seen uh, Sierra doing um, a mentor situation at a, at some kind of look like it mean, it looked like it was a girl's school or some sort of school or a camp for like disabled people or something like that. What is her job right now? Is she still an entertainer for as a singer or is she a... Um, she hasn't put out any new music in a while. What is her job now? What is she considering herself? Stay at home mom for right now. But she gets in front of the camera just to get the people that follow her to, you know, she gets them excited every now and then with a new dance. Or... She's taking on philanthropy. I think she, I've seen her doing some, doing, going to different schools or different uh, places and talking to young people and caring for people that may be disabled. Um, just showing up, you know, uh, yeah, she's, she's doing something different now. 
I've seen her do something a little different as far as uh, the videos and, and a, you know, R&B singer and stuff like that. She's an influencer. OK, so well, see, that would be why she's doing it. She's getting them numbers up. Right. Sierra is always praising Russell. I've seen her. I have not seen her in initiate a praise, <laughs> but I have seen her in response to something that he's done, done, you know, but I can almost imagine that everything he does is for the influencer. You know, even coming out, getting on one knee. That was for that was for us. <laughs> that was for us. And I'm not asking an average man to do all of that. I'm just saying, why are we hating on him? Because he does do it. Yeah. Now, Poppy Blanco put something in the comment. He said um, he said, can you tell him he asked you and I black man filtered in, in uh, security boss. Can we tell him what the benefits of being a stepdaddy is? The benefits of being a stepdaddy, you 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 help raising a child that didn't have a dad, more than likely. Children need fathers. Again, that would be somebody that values family. It doesn't always have to be your own. It doesn't have to be your own. I mean, you have to have that relationship, though. You would have to see that. You would have to have and want that relationship and care about that family and care to be a mentor to that child. That would be something that would be your benefit. You would want to have to have that relationship. You know, I've heard, who was it? Shaq. Shaq said, Shaq was a stepdad. He said the man who, his biological, he didn't know, but the man who uh, raised him, that was his dad. Yeah, he told my Sarge, yeah. Yeah, he said that's the one who who contributed to him being who he is. Yep, because he, so, he was an adolescent. He was still in the car, breaking the people's cars. He was He was a horrible kid. He said the man changed his life. Yeah, now, do I, need to go ask, do I need to go ask Sarge? You know, how you feel about being, how did you feel about being Shaq's stepdad? I mean, he saw a need, he filled it in. I mean, I'm, listen. But I think it's more of the men being, I think it's the men being the fact that I'm a man, I want to leave my home, but I have these obstacles of women saying, hey, listen, when it comes to disciplining a child, I love you, we're going to be together forever, but don't, don't say nothing to my baby. That's not a good situation. That's not the kind of person. That's not the stepdad. That's not the situation you want to walk into because that's not right. You have it has to be with a woman that wants to have a mentor or a father for her child who also values family. It can't be somebody putting stipulations. I, listen, y'all, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all all day, every day. A woman come with stipulations. Leave her at the restaurant. If yep. the stipulations exceed the marriage that's not the one you want to marry. I'm sorry. I'm saying it, but it's just the case. Stipulations, no. Standards, yes. Dearly beloved. Stipulations, no. And if one of the stipulations is your child doesn't have a father, your father's nowhere around, and I'm stepping up. I love you as a woman, mm -hmm. and I'm I love your child. I love your your son. I love your daughter, and I really want to mentor and raise this child as my own. And then she looks at you and say, yeah, you can do that, but you can't discipline them. that. She's not the one. Y'all, that's rebellion. She's not the one, guys. So uh, women need to stop trying, trying to police men and telling us what a good man is. Really? We, we, we allow you all to speak into us all the time and tell us what you want as women. All the time. Cooperative, submissive, natural hair, uh, beautiful skin. Whatever it is you want, I listen. Like, you, 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 I was just about to say that you listen because hell, you know, all that stuff you name, that's you all day. But don't I listen to it? Don't I always, and don't I have these women over here in this chat yep. uh, making lists to see what men want so we can be better women? Right? Mm -hmm. So if I'm telling, if I'm me, so Gremlin, so Gremlin, if I'm advising you to the blueprint of what it is that a marriage would take entail for a man to be a happy, successfully married man for many years, the blueprint comes straight from the Bible. I would, I really will share it with you. It wasn't my idea. It came from someone else, but I do need to share it because sometimes we miss it. And if the word of God says you should love a woman, and if I can outline and black men and I can outline what love is. Don't get mad at us for sharing, you know, just figure out where you're dropping the ball at if you are, but if you're not, then you're good. But don't, don't say we, we, we're, we're, we're having conversation. We're having conversation. We're trying to become the best version of ourselves. Exactly. I, and, and gremlin, I would love for you to take it that way, but if you, we're going to drop the link in a minute and I would love for you to come up and share 
uh, with us the problem you may have for a woman saying to you, uh, love is what, uh, what you, what women want is what women need is what a requirement is. Um, uh, uh, that's because men know what a good woman is. Okay. <laughs> Robert H. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to accept that from you, but I don't know exactly where that's coming from, but either way we're having, we're trying to have conversations. We're trying to be the best version of, of each other. You know, I'm trying to be the best woman for my husband and men and women who are trying to be married and wives. We're taking advice from the other. I want to know, black man, you're not a good example. I want to having preferences. It's not the having preferences. It's not the. Is not the same as trying to police someone. Yeah. All those things you name, you'll do because of self-love. Remember all those things I named the love. Is that what he's is that what he's talking about? Black yeah, man? having preference is not the same as trying to police someone and all those things you named, y'all oh, do. You mean a single, love. you know, being married to a single, uh being a stepfather. You don't have to be. But if that's who you if you're moved to be one, then that's what you do. That's what you do. That's up to yeah. you. It's totally up to you. I think I'm answering that question correctly. All those things I name is a requirement for marriage. You know, but again, we can go through some things and that's what it all, that's what it's all about. If we don't get it right, we have to go through things. If, if we don't get the love right, then we'll have problems with the submission. You know, if, if, if the submissions, if the trust is not there, the woman probably be talking about she won't submit. Like we, the other day, black man, you, I don't think you were there, but um, one of the major things that Cam mentioned because she did submission was trust. Yeah, Cam did a wonderful job. In love, there's trust. And yeah. trust comes with putting all your money in one pot. But for some reason, women are not trusting men to put their money in one pot. Yeah. And I'm saying we need to get up. Men asking women for tips and dating is foolish. Foolish. Really? Men asking women for tips and dating and dating. And, and security boss, why, why, you know, I, that's why I think these conversations are important because on Tuesday, um, that's what I'm talking about on my on my platform on Tuesday. We're talking about uh, my wallet, my choice. Where they're and we're going to talk about the women that don't want to put their women and men don't want to put their money in the same pot. Right, right. So uh, dating, someone said, men asking women. It's foolish. It's foolish. Tips on dating. Tips on dating. I like, don't. Know. I guess. I guess he he's talking about if I call if I came on the show tonight and be like, hey, security boss. I found this girl, man. I really like her, man. What do you think I should do? Mm, it may that be. Ma that makes me ignorant. That makes me, you know, you know, cuckoo for cocoa. Be, um, well, you know what? If you listen, guys, I'm going to say it to you real easy. Like if you got it all together, please come and share with us. Cause no, <laughs> we don't. And I'm talking to women that want to be married. I'm talking about women who want to be the best version of themselves that want to be wives. And I'm talking about husbands. I'm talking to husbands that want to be married and want marriage to be successful. I'm not talking about right. being married for five years and talking about, uh, you know, I'm tired of her. She ain't doing this. She ain't doing that. Cause see, that's not working. That's not working. And it exactly. is not working. Exactly. It's not working for nobody. And, and, and calling Russell Wilson a simp, it is not working. The man is a good man. He's a family. See, see, I'm I'm talking to men that value family. I'm talking about men who would value a good traditional woman. I'm talking about a traditional woman. Or would you just not even be able to, to handle a traditional woman that feeds into you, that wants to submit to you, that wants to be your wife and, and adapt to you? That's what I'm talking about. I'm not I'm not talking about this, this, this stuff that you these talking points that we share on YouTube. I'm talking about real life situation of a woman that's been married 27 years or will be in November. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. We're talking about how to get from zero, zero. Yeah. to 26. No joking around, you know, no more beating. The, remember the gender war is not going on over here. We're talking about solutions and how to be the best versions of ourselves and valuing family from the woman's point of view and from the man's point of view. So I'm asking questions, black man. I'm asking questions. So. That's, that's that's how we're going to do it. And I'm listening to whatever you have to say. Uh, Bro man says, I'll, I'll listen to just about anybody 
whether I retain and use what you tell me is another thing. Eat the meat and spit out the bones. Exactly. That would be wisdom. Exactly. Hey, beloved. Hey, Emmanuel. How are you? I always say that you can get good out of any anything, even if it's bad. I don't know, but um, we're open to other suggestions, though. Um, spoiled baby, see, I love that. People are just too negative. Children and children, it's their fault. Children and children, it's not their fault. At T Shaw, okay, God bless you. Okay, and your family. So again, we're trying to figure out how the negative is being pushed as a positive and the positive is seen as negative. This yeah. word simp has been thrown around like crazy. Uh, and I yeah, I, I don't think no Russell is a simp. You said that again? I don't think he's a simp. I just think that people are dragging him based on the fact that of all that other stuff we talked about, like people going back and calling him a hypocrite, like, oh, you all against women. Women shouldn't do this. You wouldn't marry a woman like this. And all of a sudden now you married to a woman that's twerking every time the camera come on. Mm. And I think that's why a lot of people are dragging him because of what he said previously, like what he didn't want, what he liked, what he didn't like, you know, what kind of woman he was looking for, who he was looking to date, things of that nature. Right. So I think that's what it is. I don't think it's more of the fact that he married her. I mean, I don't know. I'm just looking at what he does. Any man, any man, any man that loves his wife and not afraid to show her the affection or that um, that are, is into his family, that values right. his kids that pour into, you know, they care about, you know, what about being on the ball field? What about their homework? You know, all yeah. that stuff. What about pushing the darn shopping cart? What about the car seat being in the back? Who, who Who's looking at who to see yeah. who's got, what and is this about? Right, and that's what they were asking in the chat. Uh, somebody asked, uh, I mean, Poppy came back again. I think he doubled down. He was like, yes, the, the, the stepdad is going in helping her with her children that she has with another man that won't step up. But what is it benefiting the father? I mean, what is it benefiting the man to do it, though? That is something that Russell wants to do. He sees right. a need and he's fulfilling it. He values family. Exactly. He's valuing family. He took this wife, this woman on as his wife. Exactly. He values family. He didn't care whether I mean, I don't know if future I'm pretty sure she can get some get future to do what he want what she wants him to do. I'm pretty sure. Of it, but I'm almost sure, too, that Russell has probably um, adopted that child. What do you think? No, I don't think that. I don't think he has. Uh, I, you know, let me tell you this. Mm. When this stuff first kicked off, a lot of women was on future side. Saying that, you don't you don't play daddy when this baby got his daddy right there. Uh, you know, um. So there were a lot of women were were on future side because I guess they like future. You know, most of the women love them thug. They got a whole bunch of baby mamas. Mm, I don't know about that. Gremlin um says women love simps. I don't know what you know what I, women love simps so they can um have full control. I don't see it anymore. Have full control. Don't let them pull the wool over your eyes. Let me share something with you. Don't ever let a woman keep you from being a man. And you heard that from a woman. My Lord. Don't ever let a woman keep you from being a man. It's not allowed. Don't ever do that. And guess what? You don't have to ask permission to lead either. Men don't. Right. So just keep that in mind. Never let a woman keep you from being a man. And it's okay being a man to open a door. It's okay to... uh pour into your wife because I promise you, you'll get it back. Black man, you said something to me the other week that was very important. And you said, yes, Spirit of Boss, what have you realized that you've done wrong or you've been on autopilot for a while with your spouse, but now you're turning it around. You, you want to invest the time and you, exactly. you, see, you see your error. Right. You said, how long do I need to do it? That was a question did you ask, right? right? And I said to you, I don't know how long it take it took to break it. Right. Right. I got to thinking about that. It kind of bugged me a little bit mm -hmm. because I, too, wish and, and hope that everybody's on the same page all at the same time. Right. But then guess what came to mind? How long did Jesus wait? <laughs> I hate to say it. I hate to say it. Mr. Benny, how are you? Bennett, that's my guy. Mr. Benny, what's going on, man? I hate to say it. I hate to say it, um, black man, because the, the, the number one thing in love is what? Patience. <laughs> it is. So, 
even though I know it's coming, I mean, we was just talking. So men, any man or woman who 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 has been on autopilot and has let the the, the, the marriage just kind of go and just fly itself. And now you're ready to pour into it and get something very important, you know, get get that love out of it. And you want to know you having them conversations. Y'all have the conversations. Bring it all to light. Start over. Renew your vows if you have to. You know, I never knew why people renew their vows. I never knew. Never gave it a second thought. But if right. that's what you need to do, do that. Have the conversations. Start over. Get a hold of your marriage. And then, you know, from that point on, figure out how long it's going to take. It may not take no time. Exactly. But if she doesn't adjust to what you're saying or if he doesn't adjust to the new you or what have you. Because remember, if I've been on olive palette for a while, now I'm coming in. This man is he into me now. He's loving me. He's showing me this. He's showing me that. Right. Gosh. He's he renewed his mind. Somebody else told me something else too that didn't did. He was like, now he's eating, he's a vegan, he's losing weight. That means your mind has totally changed. Do you understand that? Exactly. That means you're a different person. So now you want me to accept a different person, just yep. like that. That, that that's gonna take me a day or two. <laughs> it's gonna take me a day or two. Uh Doberman says, hoping uh hopping on the panel and break down Russell's topic. It's up to you. The, uh, we're going to drop the link in the chat right now and we're going to talk uh -oh. about it. Come on in here. But listen, we're going back to it because what does a woman, a submissive a woman get in return? She gets love. Mm. She gets love. And, and before you say that, let me say this. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, you need to go right over right now. Miss Five Star is here today. Security boss SB Nation is in the building. Listen, she has her own store, ladies and gentlemen. It should be pinned up in the top up here. You hit that link, go in that store, go to go go in there and buy something today. And if you buy something today, stop on your way out of buying something. Send her a super chat. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button because this woman is doing the work, and this is the kind of women we need to support. And let's uplift her today. Let's champion her today. Let's up just motivate her today. Continue to do the great work that she's doing. She is doing the work, ladies and gentlemen. The ladies and gentlemen, the five star herself, security boss. Back to you. Thank you so much for that, guys. Go over there and get you some. Go over there and get you some SB Nation gear. It is five stars. And Mr. Quincy, you are exactly right that the women should get the four P's, but it doesn't stop there. The four P's does not stop there. Mm. Okay, we also it doesn't. You do we get the patience also the protection of course. Uh oh, you know we get that, but it's deeper than that. And see that's what we miss. That's what we miss. If we're getting married and we're following the blue, the blueprint, blueprint of marriage, the order is God, Jesus, man the man, joined. the wife. It clearly just says the man is supposed to love his wife. And I need y'all to go figure out what that love looks like. One of the other things about uh, the whole Russell thing, I know people are going to come up and talk about it. But the whole Russell Wilson thing is the reason that him and his first wife didn't work out is because she slept with one of his teammates. Stop playing. His first wife slept with one of his teammates. Who is who was she? I don't know her. She yes, was, how, are you? how are you, sir? Who was his who was his first wife? She, was, she wasn't famous or nothing. Uh she's just a regular chick, but she was always around the football players, always making videos, always out, you know, just out, just being so, you know, sociable. And she slept with one of his teammates. That's what led to that divorce. I have I don't even know who that is. Um, you know, but again, like I said, the the he shows uh, men this it's you know what though, it doesn't stop with relationships, it's deeper than that. Anything that is good, we have now made it bad, and the bad things we now worship as good. Right. So, you know, Mandrell, mm -hmm. you're out of focus, sir, for some reason. Yeah, so that's, what happens when you go to, that's what happens when you then, go to Family Dollar and buy your camera. <laughs> that's that Family Dollar camera. Oh, God. So, um, listen, Gremlin says, I wonder what y'all stick, um, still rock with. Oh, my goodness. It went away. Um, let me read this one first. Harrison Family Values. How you doing tonight? I'm there about to 
track my statements in favor of Russell Wilson. <laughs> I like Russell Wilson. I love your statements. Don't retract them. Don't do it. Russell is a family man and he values family. So don't do that. But I want to read what the gremlin has to say also. Also, let's see where it's at. If we can find it. I was right. Do you see it, black man? Do you see the gremlin? The grim hold on. Let me see. I can find it real quick. Let me see. Right, right there it here. is. Uh, da, 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 da. I just saw it in a blank black out for me. Hold on a second. I know. I know. Right, right, right. I, wonder, uh, why, I wonder, will y'all still rock with him knowing he was married to a white girl? Uh -huh. there this go. Love is love. I could care less. Who, who you talking about, Russell, right? Yeah. I don't care who Russell was married to. Why would we care about that? We're not on code. We're not on code over here. C O D E means run. He had permission from the white man. It hasn't changed. C O D E. What, black man, what does C O D E mean over here? Are you, you, I want her to tell you because well, one day she went all about that code. Cover it over don't yeah. like that code. I don't care that about code. Listen, about that code. Gremlin, you just talked to us a little bit ago about preference. If the man preferred a Caucasian woman at the time, then that's his preference. Guess what? It just goes to show you that women are women. How about Shout that? That's all it shows. Women are women. So anyway, let's get to this. Hello, Gray Peel. How are you? You muted, man. Come I'm on, man. I'm reading your lips, but it's okay. I got you. <laughs> how is everybody doing? Mandrell, how are you, sir? I'm well, security boss. How you look are you? good now. You look good. Mel, Thank how you. you doing? Salute. Salute, everyone. Good evening. How are you doing? Hey, doing man, stay close to that mic hey. today, Mel. Stay close to that mic today. <laughs> <laughs> DP, how I'm you like doing? Vader. <laughs> All is well. why, you, why you growling? Say it Who? again. You. I didn't hear you. Say it again. No, I said I'm good. All is well. So I can get constipated. I know. I'm trying to do his very white voice, man. It's for the ladies. Come, come you know? on my mic or something. I, yeah. I got you. Now. I can hear you. This is a smooth uh, voice for ladies. You know what I'm saying? That's like <clears throat> All right. So listen, guys. I already know this is going to be a hot one. So let's yes, just have some. We're going to have some. We're going to have some decorum. Yeah. So what we're going to do, Mel, is um, <laughs> when someone is speaking, Mandrell, whomever, we're going to wait for them to complete a thought before we decide to interject. Can we do that? Yes. Yes, ma'am. I want to have the conversation and I want to hear and I want to really hear everything that you all have to say. And also, guys, um, mute your mute yourselves while the other one is speaking so we won't have all this back noise and all this interference. That would be helpful. So, Mel, I don't know. Oh, DP, I think you were here first. So, what would you like to add to this conversation, sir? Um, I'll pass. I'll let one of them go first. Okay. <laughs> I'll go first real quick. Faster play. All right, Mel. Go I ahead. Yeah. I don't think Russell Wilson's a simp. Period. Because he's getting what he wants in return. Hey, don't said, you ever say period behind a sentence no more. You hear me? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Let me read the definition of actually what a simp is from Wikipedia. Simp is an internet slang term describes someone who shows excessive sympathy and attention towards another person, typically someone who does not reciprocate the same feelings. In pursuit of affection or sexual relationship. Yes, but to put she, it to put it all in one talking. To put she, it all in one bucket. Mm -hmm. Keep he also was getting something in return from Sierra, despite he shows his affections. Okay, I'm not knocking show his affection, but he was getting reciprocated return from her. So, so, so you. So I don't think he is sent because she did still return his affections. Okay, she twerks online. We know that. Do all this that. He accepted that. He actually might like it. Mm -hmm. well, well, why should we complain? He show each. They, they show both on both Instagram pages. They show their affection for each other and their family. Like why are we still? Not, why are we even still talking about this? And let's go get there with the stepfather thing. Sometimes some stepfather, some stepfathers work. Some don't. And everything. If 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 it was discussed how they gonna raise someone else's kid, they both have a mutual agreement. Why should we knock them for it? And everything. I'm not gonna knock them for being a stepfather to towards you know future kid. Like you know, yeah, like you know, if if it's already arranged, discussed on that, then hey, it seems like they're making it so far. Right. 
So, Mel, what would you say if, if Russell was the one actually the it was actually the cameraman? Like the one showing more affection? No, the no. cameraman. What if he was the one doing, you know, videotaping the twerking? What if he was actually oh. the one behind that like I said, yeah, he that's part of why I was saying he bite he, he doesn't mind it, he bite doesn't mind it. Like just like you said, if he's the one videotaping it, then he knows that's part of a business also too. Like if this helped making them both make money in that way and he's supporting it that way, then why are we complaining about it? If he's holding the camera, like you know what I'm saying? Cause he already know what type of woman he was dealing with before before they even got serious. He he knows she's an entertainer, she's a dancer, and she probably will dance provocatively. Now she's still doing the music, but she's doing influencing things. This is part of social media. Like people in the entertainment industry do do certain things that a lot of outside norm people might not agree to, but if they still have a stable marriage from their point of view, from their concept, then they shouldn't even be complaining about it no more, man. Now, so, now yeah, now somebody said earlier in the chat now. I'm gonna have to call this person out. Somebody said earlier in the chat that they compare this to Megan and Devin, right? Now, Megan and Devin was the same. And a lot of people had the same argument that Mel has now. And it was like, leave her alone. Megan Good did what she did in the past. She's got a Christian man now. He loves the Lord. He's a pastor. He's a writer, producer. He makes 10 times more than she does. So he's not with her for her money. He loves her. He shows affection. He prays for her in public. He he, you know, he wiped her up, leave him alone. And for a while, women were all just hunky doing, leave them alone. That's their relationship, you know, God and change that girl life. And now people are too yeah. different horn. Um so she, wait a minute though, black man. Just because they divorced, why are we what what's changed about her? Well, no, it's, it's well, not well, like a scandal came out, did it? Well, maybe let me ask the question. Did a scandal come out about her? So, I'm not so sure. Right about after, so right after the divorce, okay. she ended up she she um well, before they got a divorce, they saw her with this guy, right, or whatever, and she said that was her friend. After the divorce, right, she's now she's with this guy, right, <laughs> and he's a battle rapper. Right, but we don't know. I mean, when you say she's with him, you're just saying she was seen with him, right? Yeah, on a date with him, yes. Right, but we no one has said anything. You know, you know what? They, no, we, we, they operate. They operate at one time. No, and then they we, make it official. I mean, yeah, that's like that's um. Boss was trying to say, you guys seem together. I mean, if she hook up with him, she'll throw him. I mean, so what? Like, you know, that's how Mel, you're not following the rules. Oh, what? Well, well, I didn't curse. I didn't say nothing. About it. Oh, sorry. I was in mid sentence. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Fair, I'm sorry. I, I thought fair. you stopped. That's why I was adding to what you were saying. No, like, to be fair, Mel, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To be fair, Mel was cursed over you by, by your grace. By your grace. Mel was cut off too when he was talking. Oh, you gonna yeah. get cut? Thank, thank you, Great <laughs> You gonna get cut? I'm sorry, Auntie Bass. Thank you, Great Pill. <laughs> Black man, I think that was totally directed towards you. That's, that's what I said. I ain't, get, I don't, I ain't gonna cut him off. I'm gonna cut him. Listen, <laughs> Megan and I are not friends. I don't know her. <laughs> if I'm making an excuse, no, no. Listen, let me, let me, let me put a disclaimer out there, y'all. I don't do celebrity gossip. Now, if I saw Megan, if Megan got on there like Monique did and did a whole one hour live, I would have her saying her own words about what she did and did not do. But I am not the one to be making assumptions about how these people live their life. What, you know, how they got divorced. Anything could be, you know what? It could be so many things that could have could have happened. You know, I did say that I think he wants she wanted to have children and he didn't. That was still me making an assumption. But. I have no clue and we have none either about how or why these people actually broke up. We don't know. And I just, I don't like to make it a negative assumption because it seems like it was mutual. I didn't see him. I mean, ain't nobody going, you know, she ain't in the, the Facebook live or doing anything crazy, doing any rants or making any long poems or doing anything crazy against him. So I can't say, and he hasn't done anything to her either. So I I would have to say it was a mutual agreement that they break up for whatever reason. But you all want to call him a 304? I, I just ain't been to bed nowhere near her. Not me. So I can't say what she was doing. I have no clue. I think the re reality is like, you know, we got too many extremists online, too much that's but her heart broken, broken, you know, putting all women in the same category, wherever they see some flaws. I mean, like, like just like you said, I haven't heard her talking negative about even though they've um, initiated the, the divorce, they both haven't talked negative things about each other. They settled it. 
and everything went their separate ways and everything. That's internet. That's the woman bashing him for trying to move on, want to try to use homophobic attacks against him when he was angry with his own boys and then praising Megan Good for moving on, whatever, like, you know, like she upgrading, whatever. That's, that's nothing but internet, social media, grab her from, from, from the, from the, from the crazy toxic fan base. That's but, no trace of yeah. Now I'm going to say this, but when you meet your wife, whoever you're going to marry, when you meet her, and you meet her at where she is, and you meet her where she is, and you knew who Megan was before you got with her. Because what happened is, if you guys saw the interview, she, he did an interview about a book that, well, you know, they wrote a book together, while, how they waited and all that stuff. And during the interview, some of his church members stood up and said, she your wife, but why do you allow, as a pastor, why are you letting your, allowing your wife to dress like this with her breast out and her, and her, and her ass out on, on these stages? You know, does she have any type of respect for the church first of all and do she have any respect for that and so megan um she said herself in an interview y'all guys go google this or youtube it uh she said this herself that she doesn't like how she judged when she walks into church on sunday to support her husband when he preaches the women are looking at her like girl what do you have on in here this is the house of god what you know she saw she she hears the whispers you know and what 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 if devin chose the church over her or, or what if it got too heavy for him and he and all of a sudden he wanted to change his mind about what he perceived her to be. He tried to change her, and she was like, "Whoa, okay." And he said, "You know what? I'm out." What if that did? I don't know what happened, but I'm just saying the church. What well, they have a video. He had to stand up and defend his wife in front of an entire church because they were in the audience screaming out of the audience about her attire and what she wears. Now, see, listen, I got feelings about that, and that's not right because if that's what that's where she needs to be, um, but the word of God should be converting her and not the members in the church that are doing things that are far worse, probably, than what she's doing. She was she's she's she was visibly confused about right. her presentation. I mean, y'all know how church folks is. See, that's why people don't go to church, but we ain't mm -hmm. gonna go there. We're not gonna get off on that. Um, Mandrea, were you next or Gray Peel? Did you want to go next? Um, I can go. Um uh, I think Mel need to read that definition again. If you mind, Mel, just read the definition, and I'll go from there. Because um, people, because it's fortunately people don't know. Because uh, in a lot of spaces, people don't understand the words. So, do you mind repeating mm -hmm. that definition again, sir? Of simp definitely, definitely. Simp is an internet slang term describing someone who shows excessive sympathy and attention towards another person. Typically, someone who does not reciprocate the same feelings in pursuit of affection or a sexual relationship. Okay. So that sounds like about um, half the people in the chat, uh, about a hundred thousand people in the YouTube spaces that care more about something that they're not, doesn't care about them. So my question is to respond to everything else is why we care about celebrities. Why are we not speaking about regular folks in our neighborhood in our actual churches, in our actual communities, in our homes? Aren't we supposed to be the motivators? Or if we're father figures, if we're the husbands, if we claim that we're the quote unquote kings and queens, why are we not, uh, why are we not talked about much? Why are we not mentioning security bars more? Why are we not mentioning about these other regular, why are we not mentioning about these people? Hey, I got a, uh, uh, where, where I got a point at? Go ahead, right here, give me that little hands out. We got a, 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 a damn near a black Rambo soldier at arms, retired, young, who who's who technically self-employed, never brags about it, very humble. You know what I'm saying? And Mel with the education he just gave, as loud as he be, just gave an elegant education of words that people don't use all the all the time. So the question to response is uh unsolicited security boss, enter the chat. Why do we care about celebrities when we're not living in their homes? They're not paying our bills. Why are we living their heads rent free? And I go with that. But a lot of people are making money off of these people when they talk about it. People log in on YouTube every day and get paid by talking about Russell and Sierra every day. Every day. People are getting checks from YouTube. People are getting checks from sponsorships. People are getting checks just to talk about them every day. They do get paid. People get paid to just gossip about celebrities every day. Yeah, well, why are we using them as examples? Like they like that's the example I'm gonna live live my life. That's that's a that's a, a very uh, disturbing way to live. I think okay, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was just I was just asking. So why do we now, use them as examples? 
I think it's for educational purposes only because I'd never use anybody in this, as an example as a celebrity because they got more money. They, it, it, Russell Wilson worth half a billion dollars. There's nothing I can do with. There's nothing I can compare myself we, to. Him. We just talked about like an hour. No, 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 no. We were talking about the marriage. What I'm saying is I didn't compare myself to him or anybody Fair. else. I was just talking about the situation that he was in when they, when they went Why She asked why people are dragging him or calling him a simp. And I told her what I've been hearing in these YouTube streets of people call him that because he says one thing and then his wife does another. That's what I'm saying. That's I was just telling her what the street, what they, what, why they call him that. And then Poppy, Lord help him, is in the <laughs> is saying that, you know, how do you benefit from then? It went from that to how do you benefit from being a stepdaddy? Right. And then, yeah, you know, and then well, it see, just the, problem, the problem with that is because, like, like when we say, those spaces we have to remember um with numbers uh youtube what they just had a celebration of a trillion over a trillion viewers over a million subscribers that's still himself he's not a he's not a uh, content creator but he he's he's a youtuber you know what i'm saying he can right. easily email his name he's a youtuber all of a sudden another ignorant person i'm a youtuber so i feel like it's kind of um disingenuous when a lot of people say these spaces when no disrespect to security bars and myself for you we're in pretty much a 0.1 percent of a trillion viewers that's a small sector there's many spaces so why are those why is those people so stuck on so. the negative mm -hmm. on those spaces instead they could easily type on the computer and move on somewhere else i, I could give you the quick answer sure because everybody not us that's so fair that's some people, this, are, some people are fueled by bullshit. Yeah, and and the better the story, <laughs> the better the story, the yep. better the story, the more money. Because let me give you a, a good one. Mm -hmm. That little scandal with um, Jada and Will. Yep. I mean, all those stories that were created around surrounding them. Oh, that was a million dollar. That was a million dollar investment for some people. They yep. got really paid off of that. That little Johnny Depp and um, Amber, Amber yep. two billion, three million people mm -hmm. got paid off of that. Now Johnny Depp and Amber, they were more okay. I can kind of see that because they were speaking for themselves. But Will and Jada, Will ain't said nothing. Jada said a little bit, and we created the rest. Not we, YouTube and other social media places created the rest. And I, I don't want to do that. I, I don't do that. Unless they're speaking themselves and I can say, you know, I can uh, recap what they said. I'm not going to do it. I feel I've, I'm embarrassed to do that and I'm not going to let them influence my life that way. Um, but I must tell you, people do allow them to influence them and they actually use them as an example to live their lives. This is no joke. But let me do this real quick. Um, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, how you doing? Thank you so much for your $4.99 super chat. He says, let me get some tithes and offering offering to preach a gray pill over now, there. Now leave that up. Now leave that up. E man, you are too intelligent not to put the T in tithes. You're not put the E in gray. <laughs> no, now, no. Now, on, man. Tithes. <laughs> I'll accept the E man. I'm going to dance to that. Tithe. I'll never dance to a security. Tithe is T-I. T H E S. Don't let that man disrespect us, <laughs> Richard. <laughs> no, hold on one moment, Doberman. Can we uh -oh, please? Oh, my boy here. here. Yeah, Doberman. Can we please see your face really quick, and we'll let you up. We just want to verify that that you're a person. He could link um, in the building tonight. But um, that's you, uh, great, Pill. You're exactly right, and I wondered that too. But there is money to be made off of this celebrity celebrity gossip, yep. and I really think they feed us. So I really don't know how much is true and how much how much is fake. Yeah, but to be fair, it's still spaces out there that don't talk about them celebrities. They still make money. They still get fed. But unfortunately, it just the negative. Like I said, it's spaces out there for everybody. You do have those negative spaces. You do have them positive spaces. You do have them just, hey, let me just plant a tree and just watch it grow spaces. You do have sectors where you can just list a jazz 24 hours. It's millions of subscribers for those too. So it's there. I'm just trying to understand why people that so-called that want to be kings and queens and those spaces that you seem to keep bouncing off of and we'll find them guys, mostly men and women on both sectors, arguing with each other back and forth like a little seesaw. Like, why Why the man can't do this? And the women like, why the, why the women can't do this? It's like, okay, well, Go somewhere else. If you don't like it, move. If you don't understand it, you know, find some other spaces to just get more involved. That's the part I don't want to get. 
Like I'm cool with it. If you're a fan, if you're a fan of them, be a fan of the celebrities, but not to the point where I'm gonna uh, self reflect. Like, okay, my marriage is gonna be just like this person' marriage. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like that's no. sad. That's very sad. And, I, and that's what but, I'm um, Doberman. Yeah, hold on for a minute, man. Sorry, Doberman. Uh, we just want you to give us a wave in the back. You don't have to cam up on stage. We just want to see who you are in the back. You don't have to be on camera when you actually come on stage. We just have to verify that you're not someone trying to do a sad joke. But um, Mandrell, mm. it's on you, buddy. Hey, Hank. Oh, okay. Hello, everyone on the panel. Thank you for having me on the show. How you doing? Sir? Um, so what's your question? You want me to address <clears throat> the topic at hand? You can or... okay. you can address the topic. What do women, um, what do submissive women deserve? Or how was it exactly? Get in return. What does submissive women get in return? You can address that. You can address the fact that we speak negatively about things that are positive and positive about things that are negative. Mm. Or you can actually, you know, summarize and tell us what your thoughts are completely. We with it. Well, for starters, um, go to submissive get in return. I say to that, you get what submission is automatic, right? Period. It just comes with being married, as well as being. I wouldn't say that. I would. Kids. I would. I wouldn't agree with that, Mandrell. Here's the thing: it, it should be. But well, it, in, in contrast, protection should be automatic. Uh, provision should be automatic. You know what I'm saying? Well covered, well cared for, pulling your own, pulling your own weight. You know what I'm saying? Like I got to take up the trash. I got to cut the grass. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. Submission Patience. doesn't mean. Exactly. You know, the, trying to understand her, you know, putting the effort into understanding her. Yes. Yet you're going to live with that person for the rest of your life. Like when this whole thing, like I hear people like getting divorced, like you brought up Megan Good and her husband. I'm like, OK, let's say there was pressure from the church to get divorced because of her attire. Number one, they're wrong for judging the, 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 the woman on her attire. Two, what happened to, what happened to the, until death do you part? What happened to that? These people get divorced so readily. I don't understand it. It happens. They do it all the time, security boss. I do not understand it. But can you know I say? Yeah, I can tell you why. There's no foundation to their marriages. They just go in they're... with an agreement. When you go in with an agreement, you know what happens with agreements and contracts. You know, mm, people, they get broken. People default. But I want to go back a little bit. Submission is a given. That is the woman's duty as a wife to submit to her husband. But you know, in this foundation, in the foundation of marriage, it's a husband's duty to first love the wife and love mm -hmm. is not an emotion. It comes with the patience, the protection, the kindness, don't envy. It comes with not boasting, not proud, not rude, not self-seeking. We don't want people to be selfish. So when I say all of that, I say to you that it ain't easy. It's not easy for, now you give a woman this you know, easily angered, not easily angered, keeps record of no wrongdoings, um, does not delight in evil, rejoices with truth and always protects, um, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. That's all the things that men do in love for their wives. Then submission will follow. Right, now, I agree. Submit automatically? Absolutely. But it, it would be, you know, we're, we're real people. Right. I, I agree. These things should come automatically. There should be no question about any of this. Like I hear people, come, I hear people, you know, in, in these dustathons talking about marriage and they're, they're like, no nope, woman should cook clean. I shouldn't have to do nothing. Sit on the couch and do whatever. I'm paying all the bills. I'm like, no, you live there too, which means you're, that's something you're both responsible for cooking and cleaning. Sometimes you're going to have to cook, bro. Sometimes you got to clean. Can't leave all that to the woman. What are you talking? I'm like, what, what? I hear people talk about marriage. This is me being honest with you. This is my real feelings about marriage. Honestly, mm -hmm. no jokes. Okay. I don't understand where this whole thing where the guy doesn't have to do much except pay the bills and protect her. But then again, you don't go to the, you don't go to the gym. You ain't taking karate. You ain't doing no boxing. What you going to protect her from? You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? Here's his, his thing. Well, I got this 40. How often a week do you go to the range? I ain't got to go. I'm a good shot. 
I, I'm a good shot. I ain't got to go. What are you going to protect her from? So no, you're already defaulting. So she goes out there and does something messed up. Can I ask you a question? Uh -huh. What about the women that do submit to that? Like Jenny. Jenny Miranda, Jenny said that uh, with her husband, he never touches a dish, never touches clothes, never touches That's, anything in the okay, house. Cool. She takes care of everything. Cool. You think, cool, if she's okay with that, Join. fine. That's their marriage. But if the day comes where Jenny says, I'm knackered, I am exhausted, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you listen. Take care of the dishes today. Then the Man husband goes and takes care of the dishes. Mandrea was talking like that woman that we started out with. But let's oh. do the super chat first. <laughs> let's do the super chat first. Thank you, Emmanuel. Emmanuel said, let me give some more ties. <laughs> let me spend my money how I want to. Okay, look, I got me some shoulder movers here tonight. Y'all get the money line. Money line. Hey, email. That's only for you, man. So I ain't doing that no more. <laughs> right. like, that's that's my thing, though. I'm like, what happened? The vows is what gets me. People are so ready to get out of those vows, and it scares me. To be honest, it makes it hard to trust. It makes you wonder in the back of your head, like, okay, I meet someone, we fall in love. It's time to talk about marriage. Is this person really going to tough it out as far? Go, take this as far as I go. Are they going to take it as far as I go? I mean, because I'm, I'm. It's till death do us part with me. Yeah, and but so you I'm, sure. and I'm, I, huh? I, I was about to say I understand the the whole thing that where I can't do anything to cause her to doubt me. I'm not gonna in a marriage. I'm all in. You're gonna know where all my finances are, where all the bodies are buried. If there are any, because they're not, I'm just it's a figure of speech, figure of speech, figure of speech. You're gonna know everything there is to know about me. You're gonna know everything there is to know. I'm all in in a marriage. And people today, they got one hand in and they're back here. They keep the marriage at arm's length, and it's it's weird to watch. It's weird. Well, Mandra, you have to make sure that that person who you're entertaining to be your wife. First of all, is a wife mm -hmm. material, and second, mm -hmm. make sure she make sure she has the same belief system that you have. Uh oh, that's the problem. We got to both believe that marriage is to death do us part. You got to believe it's one part. Yeah, you got to believe. If, if she, yeah. Yeah, you got to believe. You gonna see Tuesday? Believe. She got to. She got to believe that, and she got to be. Guess what? And if she doesn't know anything about it, she got. She has to be willing to trust. Mm -hmm. You got to figure that out before you marry anybody. Do you trust me? And, and give us some tests. What that look like? That means you're going to give me your whole check. You know, I'm going to take care of you. And if she said no, you'd be like, okay. And okay, see you. Leave her at the restaurant. Right. So you right. got to be that it. guy that she's willing to do also, all that. Hey. Also, like, yo, if, she, if a woman knows you that guy, then everything else don't matter. She, gonna, right. she, gonna, she ain't gonna mind serving you and all that stuff in there because you that guy that she trusts and and and, and be, be, rely on that he's taking care of the bills he's going out doing working his job that's hard and paying sure the roof is paid over over um our heads it's my job to make sure he comes on to a uh, peaceful um place so he get his mind right when i get my yeah. man my man mind right the whole family you know he's ain't gonna get right I mean, he, he can do his job at home with the family because that's the wife's job and stuff yeah, I get Mel, it. That, but, Mel, Mel, I see guys. It still comes back to communication, though. Like, again, your right. marriage that you just described, with, that that version of marriage is what may be good for you. But mine might be different. The stuff that even Mandrell said, even the stuff that uh, that uh, Black Men Filter mentioned about celebrities, that's not my marriage. You know what I'm saying? So what's good for me, whatever conversation me and my uh, future wife have for us and she's okay with and I'm okay with, let's go for it. Even the, the, the cameras and all that stuff we just mentioned. If I come into it, I can't be that blind not to know what's going on. So, of course, I got to be okay in accepting with that. Because guess what? I'm still in the marriage. So it's different strokes with different folks. But, again, people keep discommunicating the, what they see in these clip bites and these little frames. And they say, oh, well, not me and this, that, third, and negative, 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 negative. It's, again, why do I care? That's not me. Right. And to that point. Uh, so the same uh, why way. We, why are you we... spending so much time? What you see on 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 youtube so much i'm surrounded by people that's in those type of marriage that boss is talking about 
that's what I'm following my my, my views from. Right. Stuff I'm seeing in front of my face. My sis, my younger sister is in a marriage like that. I hope to have a marriage like hers and stuff. Yeah, and I don't know. Hey, 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 hey. The most yeah, to speak, to speak thing, on that point, wait, then, wait, hold on a second. Yeah, to speak to that point, why we praise negative things and talk down to good things? I mean, we do do that. There's no, de- there's no debate about it. No, there's no debate. I mean, we pick up. You know, growing up, the nerds were picked on until they took karate and started lifting weights, and then the tables turn. Then the tables turn, and while you pop them in the mouth. Mandrea they ain't, they, they ain't mess with you no more. So anyway, now what that is, I don't know where that comes from. It's seen as corny, lame, not fun, things like that. And um, that's the way the general populace in our community sees it. But I still don't get why we make fun of it. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's different. Why don't you just try it out yourself? You might like it. Well, black man mentioned earlier that he was actually um, I don't want to use the word train, but some of his older uncles mentioned to him, you know, pitch it, pushing the buggy. The, the shopping cart was not cool. Don't you dare do that. So it's the same thing is of that same net nature. If something is viewed as not cool, then it's negative. But it really is. A, it's really cool. If you need a damn shopping cart, push a shopping cart. Exactly. Why would somebody view it as being negative? And it would be like not manly like. But again, right. that to me would show to me that would show me the man who's getting groceries. I would say he's helping someone out. You know, he got to eat too. That's a family value. That's a man that value his family. Exactly. Or, those are, those, those, that comes from guys who are just immature. Let's be honest. Yeah. You let ego. He said oh. it was his elder uncle. I don't. Was he immature, black man? Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Mandrell man, knows that, and Mandrell and Angela know that being in the south. These men have a different. These older guys that grew up in the country that don't know no. They t- this is how they talk every day. A man ain't shouldn't no woman. be on a shopping cart. A man shouldn't be holding his hand, wife, your wife hand. You shouldn't be kissing all up on her in public. You shouldn't be like they have these mindsets in the South that you don't do none of that. Everything is for the house. You know, that's a large population. That's a large population. That's they didn't about those down south older guys, but they in yeah. miserable marriages or they miserable them damn selves. I tell it to their faces. You're damn miserable. You're damn you, 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 like, come you, on, man. You say you, you say you will tell them or you have told them? I, I will tell them to their face. If oh, they okay, say listen, like where, I'm from, where, I'm, where I'm from, they'll put a hole in you, brother. I have no, uh, I'll put a hole in them back. Okay. I'm from New York, too. Well, I'm from okay. New York. All right. You know, New York get crazy also, too. We, we, <laughs> all those holes. Then somebody Mayo, we, got dudes here, we got dudes in the South. Let me, let me say here. that he's showing his woman his affection every day. We don't do that as weak and every day. I'm telling you, quiet, old guy. Where's your wife? Or the fact is your wife doing something for you that you that uh, hey, you know what he gonna say? You know what he gonna say? He gonna say, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on, hold on a minute, player. Wow, I'm not gonna play with you, bro. I'm telling you, he's gonna, gonna look at that guy like from the ground and be like, yo, who, where did I get hit from? Who hit me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I told you, All right, Bill. All right, Bill. Listen, let's keep going. Now, I don't know who was next. Yeah. I'm going to say hello to me. Yeah, man. I like yeah. that, man. <laughs> so, he, yeah, yeah. I think you were next. He, what you want to add to yeah. this? <laughs> he, what you laughing? It's, it's, it's funny. It's, it's funny. Just listen to this shit. <laughs> what's funny? Uh, he explain to us what's funny. Right. Yeah. People don't realize how much work it is to... In a marriage, it's not. It's not easy. It's not for the faint at heart. It's it is not. not. <laughs> and, and and this shit about pushing a cart. I mean, what are you gonna do? You know, what are you gonna do if she's pregnant? You're not gonna push a cart. You are gonna make your pregnant wife push a cart? Exactly. Well, I mean, that yeah. would that would lend to what you're. You know, this this new era where you're a simp. That would be some simp behavior if you pushing a cart. If you got a car seat in the back of your car, you got a car seat in the back of your truck. They call you sugar food. Anyway, so they call you sugar food. Affect me, so I wouldn't have to push a cart if you don't go grocery shopping. With yeah, they call you sugar food back in the day. I, mean, they I just did. When she got hey, home, she oh, called. Us, she called us on the way home, and we went to the car and got the groceries out. So you saying that uh, a simp was a sugar foot back in the day? Yeah, they call you sugar foot in the country. Oh wow! Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I was raised to be a gentleman. So wait a minute. Go and say that's not something. I thought that would be something. Dang, go ahead. I keep getting it wrong. Need the definition again. What's something? Here's the thing. Everyone, including you, secure boss, you all heard me 
make jokes about it and talk negatively and stuff like that. You hear me make jokes and stuff. But seriously, I was raised to be a gentleman. This ain't simp behavior. The simp behavior are the guys talking bad about it. Those are the simps. That's why these, these jokes are single. And ain't got nobody. Okay? And in the long run, they're going to they're gonna end up just like the women who are going to buy a dog and die alone. It's just going to be the male version. You got to paint the picture, up, though, man. You can sit over there and be stupid by yourself. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna hold. I'm not holding nobody's hand. They're adults. Mm. Either follow. Listen. Either follow instructions or you're not. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> sure, that, that's just me. Like me. Yeah. You know me long enough. I'm not uh, gonna I'll hold your hand. I'm not gonna hold an adult's hand. You're not a child. I'm right. gonna tell you what's what. I don't who are you talking to? You a picture. Who are you talking to, Mandrill? When you saying this, who are you speaking to? Uh oh. I'm talking to black man. I feel to. No, no, no. Ask the question. Well, I mean, when you no, I understand that. But when you say I'm not gonna hold your hand, I'm gonna tell you who are you speaking to? The woman or just who are you talking to? Oh, now, if it's my wife, mm -hmm. sometimes you have to hold her hand. Sometimes you have oh. to paint the picture because I got a lifetime right. to spend with this yeah, woman, exactly. That's and I have to make it work. Right. I have to make it work. So it, it, excluding her, you know what I'm saying? But oh, if it's yeah. a dude, if it's a dude who needs to get his act together, he's not sure. And stuff like this, I tell them stop listening all this red pill nonsense. But what, but oh, why, 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 listen, why would man, not want to hold his wife's hand. I, I don't understand. Right, I don't get that. I don't get that. Why would you not open the door for a woman? I, I'm gonna do that anyway, automatically. Man, I, it, I, I, I told you, wife, I'm gonna hold a hand. I'm, a, I'm, a, and if she needs that to make you know to feel more secure and maybe in a place she's uncomfortable in, we might be in, a, in an uncomfortable place for her where you know she maybe had anxiety about crowds. Who knows? So I'm glad you why, said why that. Not yeah. hold her hand exactly. Yeah, I had a relationship and make like that too. Secure and make her feel at ease. So you know, you know, some so men, she, some she men say that don't, you know, you're nervous. Somebody, well, I'm ready to go home right now, just because she's nervous, not because she's right. not ready to go home, but, but she's nervous feel, and, tell and, him, about the situation. If you make her feel comfortable, then you can probably stay there longer, right? Because you made her feel comfortable. Because she says, "I, I want to go home." You got to take her home. Otherwise, she gonna raise Cain, and now you got that to deal with. Yeah. But you do know that some men do not like public affection. That's fine, but that that comes at a limit. You got somebody else to worry about now. You have to deal with her emotions. Mandrew, but what they're worried about is married, other men. Why am I worried about them? What they're worrying about are other men, and what Why the other man is. Them? Because you, about another man, I mean, are they are they checking for the other man? Like no, know? men men really <laughs> think on, and care. Men think and care. Obviously, what men men think and care. What other men think about how they're moving. I men out here. I ain't, yeah, I ain't never care about this. Yeah, shit. Yeah, okay, but never. you you got to know. Okay, just like your uncles told you, they cared about how you was moving. Did they not? Yep. They advise you, right? Yep. Yeah, just like, just like we have these stories talking about Will and and uh and uh Russell and whomever else. People care about how they're moving, so obviously they care. So they always advise another man on how to move. Right. You know, don't be holding her hand in public. You know, you simping. Come on, y'all know this. Oh yeah, yeah, they do. A, a they generation do. That, that wasn't all about giving all pleasure to that woman either. Probably. Yeah. Yep. There you go. It's my age. nonsense. Yep. It's nonsense. Not, yeah. Oh man, look at There's a lot of nonsense. And some of them un yeah. Some of them under the tree the conversations in the South. You should we I wish we could erase them from our brains, bro. I mean, I mean yeah, some of that stuff they talked about, bro, is just straight trash. We, we you need to do you, you need to do some of them conversations like you do anything else, man. Yep. Chill with the meat, spit the bone out, man. Yep. Right. And then like well, like I we have black scientists like what, Neil deGrasse what, Tyson. Is, that that you can apply to your life and what you can't. Do away with exactly away like with take it. Neil deGrasse Tyson for an instance. Hank. It's Most not worth it. black people don't even know who he is, but he's the director of the Hayden Planetarium. Mm -hmm. He's the director of the Hayden Planetarium. I mean, the guy's on TV, he's the most famous scientist aside from Bill Nye in the on the planet. And he's black. Most black people don't know who he is, but then they look down on science, they look down on being on productivity. You know, you got women who just won't date a productive man because they're intimidated by him. So what wait is a that minute. about? Let me, I'm gonna, I want to use these two celebrities as example. Hold on for a minute, Mel. Okay, uh, Robert Robert H said he doesn't know if it's uh okay. Listen, y'all know that PDA no public display of affection that was a thing, right? Oh, that is a thing. 
He says he's not sure if it was for, I don't think it has anything to do with another man. So then why not do it? What right. is I that? Thank you. I think I, I, wait a minute, now, but wait a minute. Let's let's qualify this. I'm talking about holding hands. I'm not talking about laying on each other, tongue down the throat. We're not talking about that. We're talking about respectable, you know, behavior. Yeah, hand in the small of the back, kiss yeah, on the cheek. You know, you know yeah. holding yeah. the hand. Yeah. yeah, that's all. We talk, that's all we talking oh, about. We're not talking about going in crazy. We're yeah, just talking yeah. about simple stuff. If it's not that. for, if it's not <laughs> for your ego, excuse me. If it's not for your ego, what is it for? <laughs> I want to know. But listen, let me go down here. Jetta, how are you? Now, I don't know which one of you came up first, you or Mr. Steele. But which one of you like? Uh, Mr. Steele came before me. All right, Mr. Steele, how are you doing tonight? Hey, I'm doing fine. And you? Doing well. All right. Uh, I saw the title and, you know, I think I spoke on some of this before, but, you know, if a woman is, you know, submissive to you, you want to let her know that her submissiveness is appreciated. You know, she will, she will not be ignored. You know, you're going to thank her, you know, for her submission. When, you know, we, when, if I come home from work, right, I know that there's a woman in my house who exists right now. Okay. And I want to let her know that, you know, she exists. I know she'll nurture me um, because that's her job as a wife. But I also want to nurture her because of everything you know, that you know she did. Um, I wanted to let her know that you know she could talk to me about anything without any fear. And you know, and, and that's a leader. And you talk and my role as a leader is to give her wisdom. That means if she has something on her mind, I could you know, I could help her. Now, yeah. I could buy her things from time to time or take her out to a restaurant from time to time. But the most important things are this. I want her to, I want to let her know that she is understood. She is loved and she got my attention. Mm. And if there's any difficulty, like if there's a task that she's having difficulty on, I'll be there to help her. That's, that's one thing I think that should be in it for a good good wife not just material things right very good thank you she would definitely love all of that <laughs> she would see the value she would see the value and of course she would reciprocate the value see this is this is how this is one way that women should be putting value back into men this is one way it has to be done because that's the problem women don't value men that's what we've been seeing lately. And we have to get back to that, valuing our men. So Jedi, what do you have to add to this? Yeah, I know I said it was a good conversation here and then like it was a good topic, but you're saying uh, what should a submissive woman get in return, right? And much as, as we said that, you know, her submission might be, you know, a contribution to relationship, I could say, well, my protection, my covering, right? Um, and I think a lot of people kind of misconstrued that even in the sense before marriage, like where I'm in currently right now, like um, I think people like going to great pill, uh, his point, I think people just try to, you know, make this more complicated and it really needs to be. Um, and, and again, it's like a lot of things come organically when one, you focus more on, on you as an individual, making sure that not only that you're whole, but also that you're just kind of well-rounded, self-aware, a lot of us, like a lot of the actions that you're questioning, like why, why I'm not getting this from her, why I'm this, because some maybe you're lacking self-awareness, you know, uh, you might be might be doing something in your pattern behavior that's not, you know, um, that's not contributing to her being submissive, or it just might be just her trait as a woman. Um, again, like a lot of, a lot of people reveal uh, reveal who they are in a very early stage in relationships, you know, they always do. Um, and I, and I'm and I'm a full proponent on that, saying that a lot of us we just might want to overlook it because we have like the desire, just like, well, I gotta stay in it. That submission gonna come, or that you know that. That you know, all that stuff gonna come, and it's like, no, they, they reveal yourself really too early, and 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 to the point you're talking about why we call cause things like positive, negative, and vice versa. Uh, going to the the back, especially in our culture, like again, you know, dysfunction has become our function. You know, I keep saying that a lot is that we, you know, what has seemed you know uh, positive or healthy is now seen foreign, 
you know, to us as, as a culture. And, and, and really that's, it's sad because then it's now we have to basically, um, you know, unlearn what we have learned that basically put us in this position of, 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 you know, creating this consistent behavior that's really dysfunctional, right? You know, the disobedience we have towards each other thinking that, Hey, well, you know, you know, that I, I should be given respect just because I am not because of what I've done or what I've earned. Right. You know, um, and, and, and especially when it comes to more of accountability, or respect is like we want to have like the authority that comes with you know us being responsible and human beings yet we want to have the accountability of children you know that oh well we don't do anything wrong if we do something wrong there's no uh consequences uh, uh for our actions and then unfortunately what men do sometimes is that they basically they're the ones that sometimes they will um basically uh feed into uh I don't say enable but they validate this dysfunctional behavior to point that you know they keep doing the women keep doing it you know, if you're, you know, if you're awarding this, you know, and giving her access, you know, male attention, all other stuff like that, you know, money, everything. And yet this person has not done anything, uh, one being a, a kind human being, not, you know, uh, on, a, in, on a consistent basis, then only you don't have yourself to blame. You know, I, I, and a lot of dudes, like, I get kind of frustrated. Uh, I had talked to this idiot this morning about how we just can't have the positive, you know, conversations. Me and Drell knows what I'm talking about, but, um, and, and 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 dusto, um, like it's just that we try to make things way more complicated. Uh, us having just positive, uh, a positive conversation, and also knowing to you know, knowing when to move on from from uh, relationships or just situations is not adding and benefiting to us. That's very well. That is very well said, Jedi. Um, especially the last part about these conversations. I I think we should get to a point where we can have a conversation about anything and everything, even when we don't agree, I still want to have a conversation about it because we can learn from each other. Men, women, however you want to see it, man to man, woman to woman, we should never uh, cut people off or block them out. We should want to have the conversations. Yeah. So I definitely believe that. So listen, um, um, parents, okay. uh, I'm sorry. No, no, you go ahead. I was going to say something. Oh. Go ahead. Panderson never spoke, but listen, guys, um, I have Miss C back here. Can one of you drop down and allow her to come up? Because I definitely always would like to have, uh, love to have a woman on the panel when they're willing to come up. Yes, I will please. security bars because I have a um, stream I need to prep for tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Greg Peel, for being here. We'll see you soon. All right, yeah, I appreciate you. Bye-bye. All right. All right. I'll talk All right, to you, security bars. <laughs> All right. All right, Jedi. Yeah. I'm talking. Okay, Panderson. DP, what's going on with you? Oh man, uh, this, man, what's, somebody got an echo. That ain't that ain't my sound, is it? No, you good, bro. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I don't know. Listening to a lot of stuff in the YouTube streets, I, I just find a few things interesting. One, why are we worried about celebrities? I don't really. You never hear me really talk about them. I don't know what they got going on. I really don't care because we don't even know what they really got going on. We don't. We have no clue. Could be staged, and Keep yeah, showing. and we ain't them celebrities. But um, as far as just a lot of the talk, people are over. Oh, what's good, uh, Shushu? How you doing? Over hey, Zorn. Yeah. The manosphere, the woman's, oh, all the spheres have, have combined. In, yeah, they've all combined into the dust. Don't do that. Huh? I'm speaking to Shushu. Don't get out of character, Dr. Panders. Who are you talking about? He said, don't get out of character, Dr. Panderson. Uh, no, you know what he's talking about. Security, but I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay, but listen, Panderson, um, I, don't I, know what he's talking about. I want to hear what you have to say because you just you just touched on something. Are you saying that um all a lot of channels that are part of the manosphere are now becoming dusty, dusty, but why? Why are you saying that? Um, because the okay, at the end of the day, there's a problem and people are supposed to be looking for a solution. Right. And I'm talking men and I'm talking women. Where's the improvement? Where are the men becoming more emotionally intelligent? Where are the men actually focused on making more money, being able to become better communicators? Where are the men? And there are a lot, and there are some great channels, like this channel, that's why I come here a lot. But Thank I'm also you. on the Dusty channels, because I also want to know, if I don't fit, if I don't improve, where am I going to be? Probably in the Dusty sphere, on, on the top right square permanently or something. Right. But um, I want to know what's right, as well as I want to know what's wrong. Because I looked at how I grew up. I grew up in a black community. People were married. People were families. There was a structure. Then somehow it fell apart. Uh, I saw that. I don't know how it ended up the way it did. So when I started listening to Kevin Samuels, I started hearing what's going on in other households, how these other people are speaking. 
Now I hear it so often in the dust sphere, all the stuff that's wrong. I hear the men and one big thing, I'm trying to make it shorter. Men are trying to force women to think like men. It doesn't work. Just like um, all the men are mad because the woman wouldn't take that nuclear physicist because he just showed up as a nuclear physicist. I guess they assume there's a bag in his hand and, and he's on his purpose. She's forced to take that man. Women are women. They think different. She might can say no and go and get another guy who's actually a good guy. That's possible. We don't know. But we're already jumping down the throat thinking like men, trying to force the women to think like men. It doesn't work. Women trying to force women have been trying to force men to think like women. It doesn't work. They're two different people. So where's the actual people learning how to communicate with each other and stop trying to force something? We've been given free will. Therefore, and it will, I hear stuff like all the, you got the leverage, they got the system. At the end of the day, there's other people who are married. They've never picked up the phone and called the system and they stayed married. I've never remember my mom or my sister getting on the phone, calling the system. Never. They decided to keep their men. They fine. They're good. But um, there's a lot of stuff that's just talk and people aren't actually sitting down to understand, okay, how did this happen? How, what, what is this? Why not just, um, oh, I'm trying to keep it short too. But uh, other point, a woman, I can't remember who it was, but some panel or some back in the stream yard link, some woman told me, I was talking, I was asking, we're just talking about relationships. And they asked me, okay, uh, Panderson, Robbie. what are the things, what was good about some of the women that you dated? Go back and look at the ones you did date it. Um, what was so great about them? And it went in one ear, out the other. And then a few days later, I actually thought about it. And I realized what was so important. And one of them was, we never had talks about money. So all this YouTube talk about having the bag and the leading and all this stuff, me and these women didn't talk about money. If I had a check, I'd have gave it to them, no problem. We didn't talk about leading and following and submissions and no, the woman just liked me. And they treated me like they liked me and they wanted to be there. And a lot of stuff was just falling in line. Didn't have all these arguments, all this cra crazy, you're going to watch this, I'm going to do Those conversations didn't happen. I just showed them that I valued them. They showed me they valued, valued me and things were positive. That's why I still say a lot of the stuff that people are talking about, these crazy relationships, I never had those. I had great relationships with great people. Now, they didn't work. Some stuff was my fault. So now, partially, yes, I'm up here. No. I'm stuck on the panels on the right side. Got the blue. <laughs> a little bit. But at the end of the day, I know what the outcome is going to be. I'm going to grab one of these spouses. It's going to be over. But you know, Panderson, that, that sounds like a conversation that you and I had. But you actually shared with me that one of your best relationships was with a young lady who um, had a baby, who had a child. Two children, actually. Oh, two you didn't tell me it was two. You told me it was two. one. God. She, at the end of the day, she's still with two children. One, she gave 100% to her ex-husband, did everything to try to make it work. Two, she did everything to try to, to raise her kids best. She gave total cooperation and submission. She had a bad father, but still respected men, her brothers. I guess that was the next in line. Somehow she found a way to make it appealing. 99% of these other single moms, they ain't doing that. You told me that, that she rare exception. You told me she has treated you the best out of all of them. She sure did. And I, I will never forget that because I told you and I know how you think and I, I you deserve what you what you want. I do. But it, it just sticks with me because that was me. Not quite the two. But you know what I'm trying to say? That was me. Um, you know, she had an ex-husband. That was me. And what if my husband would have told me 26 years ago, you know, looked over me and like you wouldn't have won? Honestly, he if he say, decides he doesn't looking like he lost some weight. Yeah, I did lose some weight trying to get slim trim for the ladies but you know i'm in florida i mean come on now <laughs> gotta get them glow in the dark abs i'm at the beach but anyway <laughs> yeah i gotta get them glow in the dark abs for these ladies okay, out here glowing in the dark okay but, but now, um glow in the if dark. a man doesn't want to raise ch somebody else's children they have a right to do so this is free will i i agree i so that's what i said you, you have shame them. yeah we can't shame these men and force them uh, take these single mom if they don't want to do it they don't want to do it Right. A lot of women have made this not appealing. 
And to be honest, in my opinion, it is not appealing. Right. So it's their job to make this appealing for a man to take on. I'm just going by what you said. You said this woman treated you best out of any woman you've ever dealt with. And that was just what I hold on to. I, I just remember us having that conversation. And you right. you may or may not be talking about the conversation you and I had, but some of it sounded very familiar. Yeah, to me. if another woman does that, then I'll be raising someone else's children. But am I shopping in the single mom section? No. <laughs> no. I'm just be real. I don't blame you for that. It's not appealing. But listen, let me speak to the young ladies. Miss Shushu, how are you doing? I'm well. I'll, I'll be right back. Carry your boss. <laughs> Welcome to SB Nation. Thank you, thank you. And Robbie, how you doing? Uh -oh. oh, she muted. We can't hear you. No. Can't hear me now. There it yes. is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, listen, y'all know I'm always muting myself. No, I'm doing well. How are you today? I'm doing well. You're looking like a movie star. Thank okay. you, ma'am. Well, thank, thank you, you for definitely being here on our panel. I love when women come and to share their thoughts always. You know, so, I have to put something on because you be up here looking like a superstar every single show. Be, you know, not a one. You look everyone. Man, I love them perfect. I be trying it, Robbie. I be trying it. I be trying it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So uh, it's know what is good to see women uh, acknowledge themselves like that. That is a beautiful thing to see. Yeah, and I mean, look at them. Both of them. Tell you how good y'all look and how you up wonderful. there glowing and yeah. teeth. So, I'll be coming in looking just like a movie star with the glasses. I'm hey, I see you. I'm about to say that. Run up, be like, smile. Look at that. The pink. Black man. Hair. The hot Black pink man. Uh -huh. you Watch your mouth. Thank you. <laughs> what you say? Watch your mouth. What do you mean? Hey, hey, I sl hey, hey, hey. It's, I one, thing to come it's one thing to compliment my sister. It's another thing to take it way too far. Listen, watch Ooh. your mouth, man. Oh, Lord. We're not getting oh, hell. Who, 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 who we talking to? Okay, wait a minute. Get on the brother, brother law. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We I mean, need to pray before we start. Do we need to pray? <laughs> we need to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> there we go. Let's touch and agree. <laughs> I like it. All right, Miss Shushu. You've heard all of this, I hope. I don't know how long you've been here, but you've heard all this. And what do you think about this? You can vote for the title of the show, What Do Women Deserve? What Do Submissive Women Deserve in Return? Or you can just add whatever it is you would like to add to all these different things that we've talked about. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I haven't heard the entire stream because I kind of been in and out because <laughs> I've been like, you know, running errands and stuff. But um, from this space, from the title, um, What Do Submissive Women um, deserve or what should submissive women get in return, right? Um, I think submission, submissive women should get uh, the protection, the, the provision, the, the leadership that we're giving their submission for. Mm -hmm. And if, if they're not getting that, then, you know, they really shouldn't be given their submission. Ah, y'all heard that, right? You know, but now, yeah. who was that? Was that your brother that said it should just be automatic? Yeah, it's just like the, what the man does, he brings it to a marriage automatically. The submission a woman brings, she brings it to him. It's, this isn't a, a negotiation, it's not a conversation to be ahead. That's what a marriage is. So you now, think the woman, the men bring automatically love into the relationship? He should, yeah. No, I'm talking, about the love, I'm, talking about the love, I'm talking about the love I'm talking about, the one that says no self-seeking, oh. not easily angered. Absolutely. Patient. Absolutely. Patient. Absolutely. Do you know how many, okay, wait a minute. I'm wait a minute. Do you know how many times I have heard you all say that I just don't even want to hear her talk? She I just need some peace. She's getting on my nerves. What all of that, you all that? of not you, not you. Oh. I'm just saying men in general. You you haven't heard this before? I've heard men say that, of course, in the dust okay, of what that, what that displays is a lack of patience. Yeah, it does. A lot of dustos don't have patience. Okay, what about right. this, what about this one right here? It's not self-seeking. Do you know what that means? Yes. If you're the head of the household, you're the first servant. You're the first servant. You're but the head it's, servant. It's, you serve the rest of your household. You serve your wife. <laughs> if you have kids, you serve your kids. But you're actually, you serve, actually, you serve God, and you set an example for the rest. Yeah, self-seeking yeah. is a selfish person. Exactly. <laughs> You don't be selfish. You know, men and women bring this into relationships all the time. Yeah. 
it's automatic because you're coming from being a single person and that's all you have to think about now you're becoming one with another and you have to include them that may take a little work right what, what i would say is like a, you gotta be fair though what i would say is like you have been married each other. Married. we're gonna have this conversation before we get married this no, yeah. no, no, no. it's not that i don't want to no king don't get me wrong i want it i want all of that and i want you to have all of that but i'm gonna tell you you, you got let's just be honest let's just be honest there are some self-seeking individuals in this world and we will bring some of that junk in with us because we don't know everything and we're going to be c gave us an an excellent story last week i think mm -hmm. and i just wanted what i wanted mm -hmm. it wasn't that it was a negative she just wanted what she wanted that's self-seeking it wasn't like it was to take away from her husband she no. just wasn't ready completely to trust most people selfish nowadays. You know, then we ain't what, what, I, what I would say is, no, is like but this. but Hank, you don't know it. You don't know until you know. You don't oh, know. No, 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 no. What, what I would say is is like an energy feeding off each other. Like if I'm if I'm bringing my masculinity towards this woman, you know, and if Mandrell describing it as the fault, that's because she was zipping an energy that's making me feel like she's deserving of that masculinity from me, and vice versa. She's giving her submissive towards me because I'm a zipping of energy that she likes, that she feels that I'm gonna give it towards this man and stuff. So it's like a, we, we feed off each other that way and stuff like like that. We like, do, but I'm just saying to you, we do, and we might get you know eight. Well, how many things is it? It might be what twelve things right here. We might get eight of them right, but we mm -hmm. might with two or three yeah there's I gonna mean, be some faults in it like you know yeah you got look, look, like you got everything's not gonna come 100 perfect it's like it's like a job like you know like it's going for a new job when you apply for, when you work in a new company they got to be trained for the new company you're working for so it's like in relationship both parties have to train each other how to deal with each other and stuff you're patient and you know how to deal with each other then you know yeah it, you know you're gonna be all right yeah like she, so and Hink, I'm gonna go back to this and then we're gonna go back to Shushu and see what else she would have to add to this. What about this is a big one, putting your money in one pot. Come on, how many women you know will fight you to the death before they do that? Hank, come on, Hank. That Hank talk on that one. This is what I'm saying. We're gonna have this conversation for I, 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 I bless you with my last name. Right. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna see you, I'm gonna tell you, okay, baby. I'm gonna say, okay, baby, I'll do it. Oh no, get my last name. You come with that fake shit. You won't get that last name. I'm sorry. I'm just, you I'm, just telling, I'm just being honest with you about the struggles that people have. So, so that's security, is, that's a trust saying, issue. You, you that's a trust issue. Boss, can I ask you a question? You got to Absolutely. show me. What do you say to the women out there? Because me and he had this conversation. That's why he's so passionate about it. He, men want to share everything with their women. Now, uh, it, good men, right. not the boys. Good men want to share everything with their women. And they want that to be reciprocated as well. That is right? true. Because you could do more together than you can apart. Right. And so when you marry, it becomes an organization. It becomes a um, this 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 thing that you're building, right? You see, so many people start like Jeff Bezos started in a garage, right, mm -hmm. selling books with him and his wife, right? But then they ended up building, right? What if she said, "I want a man selling no books out no garage." There would be no Amazon. So my 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 thing is, it's just like sometimes it takes a bit. I think that we get to the point where we don't want to build anymore, right? And then when we do build, you two people meet today. What's mine is mine. What's yours is yours. I'll have sex with you. Probably give you a couple of kids. But when it comes to my money, no sir, you can't. We can't put it in the same pot. Then when I get married, hold on for a minute. No, listen, th th that's real simple. Let me give you the answer because this mm -hmm. is up to the men. Men, you have to write your vision. You have to have that plan and you have to give her that vision. You have to make it clear to her prior to marriage. And if she can get with that plan, then you won't have those problems. But I do know often um, people in our community and our culture don't talk like this and they don't do these things. It's like too much work. Somebody said, I think it was Bolo, gave an example the other day. We'll make sure the house got a good foundation, got the good roof on it, make sure all the lights work, the water work and do all that to buy a house. But we will not make sure that our women are on the same plane or have the same belief system or have the same value that we do. And I'm telling y'all, y'all have to do this. You have to have a vision and you have to give it to that woman and she has to see your vision or you probably, it probably won't work. So do you want a man to break generational? You want, do you want men to, cause this is a hard question for the community. I guarantee you. 
Do you want men to go in breaking generational curses for to good women, or do you want men to, these women to already have that? So what I, what I mean by that is, if he's date, say for instance, Hink is dating someone, and she comes in and she's great to him, they have great conversation, they're good, right? And she t and and they get to talking, Hink having that conversation about being more serious, probably marriage or whatever, and she says when it comes to the finances, hey, listen, I was taught. That when I make my money, Hink, I need to keep that money for me. <laughs> I love you. I'll do anything for you. But when it comes to that, that's one of the things I can't I can't negotiate with. Do you are, are, are we are we trying to break the generation curse of the mom passing it down to the daughter, the grandmother passing it down to the mom? Because that's in a lot of families where the great grandma told the grandma, the grandma told the daughter, the daughter teaching that, you know what I'm saying? So keep your money. Get you a nest egg. I, I used to hear this when I was a kid. Women saying they putting up money that their husband don't even know about. I remember housewives when their husband send the money's home, the money home, they'll take some of that money and put it up for themselves, and the husband don't even know about it. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah no, you I'm, I'm in the, anything that sounds like a curse or that word curse. I'm the devil cannot live within my house, and it would be up for Hink to say, you know what? We left our mother and father's house, and we cleaving to together. each other. There we go. And and, and you gonna be on my plan. And this is what it's going to be. Exactly. Can, you, can you get this vision? And all it means is that Hink is going to reassure her daily, weekly or whatever that, babe, I got you. And, and that's going to all go away. I think women really want to love and be in relationship and married relationships with men. It's just like you said, it's all that that, <laughs> that they have heard from their mothers, mm -hmm. their grandmothers and all those other older They're women. single mothers they, and grandmothers. Well, but I, w I would say, so secure, women, hold on, hold on, Mel, hold on, Mel, give me a second. But security boss, to be fair, and I'm only articulating my observations and my experiences here. What I've observed and experienced is that women, yeah, the ones who want to be married, you're right, they want to be married, but they want it on their own terms. And they don't want to let the man lead. They don't want that. They, they want to have it. Yeah, right. But here's the thing. Don't marry them. And that's the thing. Exactly. I think that's one of the you That's one of the biggest woman. problems that we have to solve for when you it comes to counseling women. Yeah, women. Man, man, you know, the problem solved. You don't marry them. I know. Oh, from our perspective, that's what it is. But I'm talking to you. Hold on. Let just... me finish. When yeah. she counsels women, that is the biggest problem. Ladies, you counsel women, that's the biggest problem you need to solve for. They want there's it on their own terms. I guarantee the women's not going to teach those women. There's also, too, they come at come at an attitude that's like that. That's yeah, but women. you know what, Mel? A large majority of 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 of, of in our I'll say in our culture, mm -hmm. right now, a large majority of men and women that are coming together, it, it that's what's happening right now. Uh, that they, they we want things on our terms. We need to sit down and negotiate. I would rather you be my partner than lead me. And and security boss knows this. And I remember security. We 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 used to have these conversations. Because we hear these women, we hear, we, this ain't nothing men sitting around the barbershop talking about. These are women on live panels saying, when I get married, I want to be married. I want to love my husband to death. I want to do everything for him, but he cannot have my money. And he's not going to be my leader, but he will be my partner. That part. Listen, Mandrell. I'm putting my money into an account. You know, well, listen, the lady, lady response to that. I want y'all to respond to that. Yeah. This is what, um, and I, I want I want the ladies to respond to, but I'm gonna respond to you first, Mandrill. I can't say this no more, but that is not your problem. You are picking right. a wife, and you don't right. care what that woman thinks. I hate right. to say it, you're giving her a vision. If she can't proceed with your vision as the head of her household, as the leader of her family, the person that she can trust, if she can't, if she can't see it. She is not the one for you. And you don't care about women don't don't allow men. I'm talking about a man. I'm not talking about somebody that's looking for a wife that just just agrees with him. I'm talking about a man because mm -hmm. guess what? You got to be a man whether you got it together or not. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. You got to be a man when you're broke. Exactly. You got to be a man if you're homeless. You got to be a man when all the line, the stars are lining up. You got to be a man no matter what. And it all falls on you. But that's your job is to be that man. You can't let it falter because a woman is feeding something into you to make you the man for her. That doesn't make sense. It's got to no, be the opposite way. Around. Boss, you know what it's not, it's not that. Hold on, man. Hold on. What I'm saying is, I'm saying this in the context that I simply want 
black people to be better. Yeah. And, and when it comes to the women's side, from my observation and my experience, that's a big issue we need to solve for in order for us to be better as a no, whole. No, you know you're misunderstanding. It's not that we need to solve for it. It's just those women need to understand the order. It's mm-hmm. not something to solve for. They just need to get the order. And, and it's nothing wrong with them not understanding because maybe we don't have a good example or maybe there are no men that are that they can look to and say, OK, he's that man. Now we got that part, but they just need to get the order, but it has nothing to do with you as a man. Don't allow a right. woman to change you as a man. Oh, no. never. That's and never, security boss, never I gonna this happen. Y'all want to say this about security boss. Security mm-hmm. boss, the difference between you and the reason that you're great and your platform is going to be greater because you're that woman, right? And what happens is this. A lot of women don't, don't see or don't hear you enough, and I think you need to be amplified a hundred times more because some of the things that you say and when you say something it sticks to the male brain and that's why you don't have me and over here arguing back and forth with you there's no spatting with you because me and because you have an understanding of men and men understand what you're saying it's very clear so what happens is a lot of women say a man needs to be prepared and when i meet him he ain't nothing to follow what when i'm on follow he ain't got no money he ain't got no job but i heard security boss say when i got with my husband he didn't have no money Nope. He had nothing, and when and, but he was still a man to me. He was still a man to me. I, he was not depleted as a man because he didn't have. He was still a man to me. And security boss, I went out and got sold houses. I would make over a hundred thousand dollars. I would bring it to my husband and say, "Delegate this money where it goes." Yep. How I many did. women okay. are going to uh, do uh, that uh, today? Uh, uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, Mel. I want to hear from Robbie, and I want to hear yeah. from yeah. Robbie. Come on. What do you have to add to that, ma'am. Oh, you know, I've been over here just holding my mule because it's a lot of capation on this panel. Now, the reality of it is men that come to the table bringing security to women, they deserve the utmost submission. But there are far too many males in the world that pretend as if they are husband material. They do a great job of, you know, acting like they're that dude, regardless if they're broke, regardless if they have money. They pretend as if they're compassionate, they're caring, they're loving. They're going to be, you know, the sun and the moon to her, sand and the ocean. And when the marriage gets a little bit rocky, they get to losing their whole entire ever loving mind. They flip the script and then it's a whole other situation. And it's interesting that we never talk about that part of the game as if that doesn't exist. Now, I'm not one of these women that are out here bitter, like, oh, my God, there is no such thing as a good man. No, that's not true. But we ain't going to act like the good man that's providing actual security is just they're they're flying free and they're they're just hanging off the trees. That's that's not the case at all. So while slow down for a minute, Robbie, slow down for a minute. OK, so let me say this. You. And I like the way you um, the the word you use. You said male, so you didn't say a man. You said there are a lot of males, and they 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 are easy to recognize. Those are the ones that are looking for acceptance from the women. That's those are oh oh absolutely. A man, a traditional man, is not waiting for a woman to give him clearance. And come on, exactly. What I'm saying, no, what I'm saying, what I'm saying to you is. It is not just men that are seeking acceptance from women that are pretending as if they are good men. There are plenty of men that could care a fish hit what a woman has to say or how a woman feels, and they still present as if they are a good man, if they're a good husband material, if they have ambition, drive, if they'll be a good provider and protector. And as soon as you get a year or two into the situation, you see the true nature of their being. But there's also a lot of people that are in these hoposexual relationships where they're living together and they're pretending as if things are going to be something great and they're not. So if you're a woman that believes in traditional values and you don't live with a man before you're married and, you know, while you're dating and in that space, he's pretending as if he is everything he's supposed to be. Then now the woman is trapped off. Now you're stuck in this marriage. Now the mask has dropped and you see it was all bravado. And that happens to a lot more women than are acknowledged. Honestly. Okay, Robbie, let me May say I address that real quick. Hold on for a minute. Again, okay, hold on, but let me just let me speak some life into this situation. 
Robbie, I agree with everything you just said, but I'm going, I'm going to free you because marriage is what you make it. Mm. That's and why it, a lot of women leave. Well, but see, that's not the answer. That's not the answer to the marriage. You leave. The answer is you go back to the foundation. Well, let me say this. Not, not everybody has a foundation to their marriage. And if, if initially that that foundation was not there, I could see that that probably wouldn't be a situation that works. So that's why I'm speaking to people, younger people, make sure you have a foundation to your marriage. Make sure that that woman or that man, you all both have the same belief system. Any marriage can be on autopilot. Any marriage could look like it's about to fall apart. But it's all depends on the foundation and the belief system of the two people that are, are involved. And it's work. Work is required. It's real easy to get a divorce. It's very easy to run out on a marriage. But I say you married for life. And when you know that, then you practice that. And that's what you want. I want to have a successful marriage. So all the energy that I'm going to that I would put into getting a divorce trying to scheme here, sneak here, do all that. I'm going to put that into making sure that me and my husband survive one more year. Mm. It'll be the choice that I make to do that. Beautiful. And I'm just advising women to do the same because there's nothing out there. Because like you said, men are pretending. I really don't know how you pretend to be good for two years. But if you can, I, I, I mean, I don't know how you, I don't know. I don't, I'm, the, I'm just saying, I don't know how you pretend to be good for two years because if I can get two out of you, that means I can get another three out of you. Oh, people it, it have ha pretended to be. On the raw bees offense, it happens. You Thank know, you for that, somebody that people... for being honest. Well, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it don't happen. I said, I don't know how it does happen. Why, what would make me change from, okay, so I'm, I'm going to be good and be married for two years and all of a sudden I'm going to wake up on that end of that second year and be like, Oh, I don't want to be married anymore. I don't want to be good anymore. There's nothing you can do about that. If your husband doesn't want to be married anymore, that's totally different. If your wife doesn't want to be married anymore, that's totally different. But I'm feeling like you're talking about the people themselves. Like I, I, I went to bed. He was kind. He woke up the next day. He wasn't. Yeah, or that happens. Something that like that. But, you but know, you that know, I'm going to respond to Robbie real quick. So let me say oh. this. Because, you know, I always say, I always go back to, I use my grandmother because my baby, right? So she's almost 90. Married for 63 years until my grandfather passed, right? This is this is stuff she say. Baby, when you get married and you stand in front of that woman and you say those words to her, those words have so much weight and so much value. She say, but when you say I do, you're not saying I do to just the woman you see today that's happy. You're saying I do to the woman that's going to have probably postpartum depression, the woman that's going to be depressed, the woman that's going to have problems, the one that's going to have issues, the one that's going to be mad one day and say something that you don't like, the woman that's going to piss you off, the woman that's going to, that's going, she's going to turn into a lot of things for a lifetime. She said a lifetime is a long time. And she said when your, if your wife says something you don't like, you don't run out the door. She said I want you to reflect back on those vows you took. And when she get great. on your nerves, reflect back. When she when she's not the best person to love, reflect back on those vows. She said, "Cause those vows hold weight." And Security Ball said the same thing. That's why it just linked up so well for me. Cause Security Ball said the same thing a few weeks back about the vows. We have to take those vows seriously. If you go read them, they cover everything: good times, bad times, sick, money, no money, broke. It just covers everything. I mean, of course it does. That's what the vows are. And I mean, I come from a family where my grandfather and my grandmother were married to the death until she went in the ground. She still claimed him as her Absolutely. husband. So, you know, I get that whole vibe or whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. And whenever I bring up these points of, you know, point of view in a conversation, I think it's disingenuous to act as if it doesn't exist. There are people and men in particular that want to exhibit control. They're not going into marriage with the best of intentions. It happens to a lot of people. Usually the women wind up being on Snap or the ID network. So, you know, when we're talking about this, it's about really teaching men how to be genuine in their search for marriage and relationship. It doesn't matter. Like the high value talk, I'm so glad that that conversation is done because high value has nothing to do with money. A lot of these men don't have high value in character. 
And like when we watch shows like Pickup Artists and all of this and all of that, where men are being taught to be deceptive and practice when engaging in a relationship, we can't discredit that. It always turns into what women should do. Why are we not speaking to how men should be building their foundation to be appropriate candidates, to be husbands that can provide security so that women can easily give them submission? Because like how all y'all are saying, men run the show. Men are the leaders. So leaders. that's a small so, percentage. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. That's a small me. percentage of me. Okay. I'm going to let y'all have it. Yo, I don't think I'm going to put myself on you. I'm going to let y'all have it. Raw B, raw B, raw I don't B. think Raw B has been here very long. I don't. Yeah. Hold on a minute. I don't think Rob B has Just been here long because Rob B, I started with the foundation being that men first and foremost owe women love. Exactly. I mm -hmm. went down every quality of love, not the love, the emotion, the feel good. Right. I went down everything that love means, the trust, not puffed up, no envy, no self-serving. Ser serving. I went down everything that love um, entails. And I said, that is what a man owes a woman exactly. and submission will come. Cause I, I answered the question that I have there. That was one of the first things that I did. And you probably were not here, but no. I agree. Yes, ma'am. And I know, you know, I know you're always preaching a good word to the fellas. I already know this, but you know, just for the people that have just now popped in or, you know what I'm saying? We'll be halfway paying attention in the replay. Like y'all, y'all men, y'all don't even realize how empowering it is for women. When we know we can look at you and we know that we know that we know that we are safe oh my and God, secure. Yes. You know, I felt that last no. Say that again. That, that we, know, we know that we know that we know that we're safe that. and secure. Oh my yes. God. No, now, now, Robbie, let me ask you a question. If that you're, you're married, Robbie, right? Robbie. Robbie. So what happens? What happens if your husband hits a hard time and you have to go sleep in a cardboard box? You prepare for that? Um, who says we haven't been there? No, no, I'm asking. No, I'm saying as, no, no, a, as no. a general question, not no, to no, you. No. Just, I'm just saying. But what would you say to a no, woman? No, but I can, I can be that, that trans. Question. I can be that transparent. What okay. says we haven't been there? What happens when that's the situation, and it's the woman, thing. and it's the woman though that is able to save the day and build an empire, and then there is that resentment. What happens so what, then? What is, because what, of uh, if we marry, what does that matter? Yeah, that's a weak man if he resent his wife. If 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 he what down, that's a weak ass man. What if, if but wait a minute it? though, because y'all don't pretend y'all. Come on down. No, 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 no. I'm saying no, I'm saying weak man. That's a 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 weak man. Like yo, if I had, if I was down, my, let's say me and Warby was married. No, this is so I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't want to cause the curse like that. I mean, jinx like that. Okay, let me let me. Susan, can I use that as a sample? But yeah. wait a minute. Wait, wait okay, a minute. Let's me and her was married, and we down on our luck and everything. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. wind up in the car, but about somewhere. Yeah, I'm trying my best hard to try to you know get herself back on our feet and everything. Every plan I get, I would go as far as like you know what. We go to the shelters and everything, but more likely, I want you in that shelter and everything. I will sleep in the car while you in the bed and everything. And then one bed so I could get the money up together and you know what I'm saying so we get a house and everything. And then she comes up with a plan that actually works and everything. I want to praise her for that. Like, you know what? You saved the family. Exactly. And, and that's gonna make me yeah, like she made me she's gonna make me feel like Superman because when she did that, so she's my yellow son. I'm a Kryptonian, she's my little son. I got that super strength now. Like, uh, -uh. you know what I'm saying? Or a weak man put her woman down like that. Nah, I mean I'm saying I I, 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 I even see a man do something. Mess like that, I'll put him in this place. Are you crazy? Are you stupid? Wait a minute, right though. Here? But Mel, guess what? Susu, you're gonna be next. Listen to this. It's, it's it's easy to see when you're down and out and homeless, but let a woman make six figures for several years and makes more money than her husband and see and, and hear the resentment that way. But, you, okay. see, you see it that way, but wait a minute, black man. Let Shushu go ahead. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> let Shushu go ahead and respond. <laughs> As, as far as like with with uh, this whole part right here, talking about you know being down and out and stuff like that, I think what y'all forgetting is men and your egos. Your egos get in the way of making very rational decisions a lot of times, especially especially when it comes to when when your ability to provide is compromised. It is hard to get through y'all. 
as a woman, try you could try and be as supportive as you want to, but a man, if his ability to protect and provide for his family is compromised, it is it is hard to get through. And it's easy when you're in a position of comfort to say, Oh, I wouldn't do that. Oh, I wouldn't do that. But when you down and out, it as a woman who's been with a man who was down on his luck, I know, I know. Mm -hmm. You can be just as I'm talking about as accommodating, as as encouraging, but like when y'all, if, if when that part aspect is compromised, there is it's, it's difficult to get y'all out of it. Okay, can I, so let me say this: and some men, are, some men are like, hold on, Hink, I'm gonna get to you, Hink. I know you gonna, I know you gonna lay the diamonds. I know you gonna lay them. So let me get this real quick. Talk to my lady. What I'm, what I'm saying is, a lot of men do do that shoo shoo because a lot of men are raised to be that machine. And then when that all stops running in that machine, that machine starts to die a little bit, right? So, but and so a lot of me like, damn, I can't provide. Now, I think, on, on, coming from a man's perspective, because I've I've been there as well. Coming from a man's perspective, it hurts a man more than it makes a man angry. It breaks him and on the inside. It may, and these men have these emotions where they emotionally just erupt. Like and on the inside, like and then his wife is making a hundred thousand dollars. He's not saying, "Oh, I resent her." He's broken because he wants to be in that place of being able to provide for her. And right now, she's at the place at the place to provide for the family. So he's broken. And I'm and I'm telling you, countless times that men will go out and you you may look at them like that guy you were just talking about. You may look at him and be like, "I can't get through to him," but I guarantee you, he's had moments sitting in the car, sitting around the corner sitting in the bathroom where he's just broken. I'm telling you, crying, teared up, emotional, broken because he wants to be able to take care of you and he can't, he feels lost. And he feels like coming to you even makes him feels like he's just, just, he's broken. I'm telling you, it's more, it's not anger or resentment. I think he's just broke. broke. Well, I, I, I will also say is like, if being that, if that happens, if a woman's making more money that way and everything, it's going to show and when the outside world kind of sees, especially her girlfriends and some of her family relatives, it's going to be rubbed in his face one way or another. Especially no, 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 we don't do that. Shit, right? No, we don't, we don't do no, that. We don't do that. We don't, we don't, do, outside. We don't do that. Yeah, but the mom, of, no, it's going to happen every day, and that's what he's really going to feel it. And it's really going to be feel like he's broken. They're going to rub okay. it in his face, but like you know, this, one one way or another. Okay, one, not, not 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 but you know, man, outside, man. like it's her best friends or even her female family relatives. Yeah, it's, they're going to bring it up, and it's going to break them. The hell with them. Yeah, the hell, I ain't worried about no I mean, family. The family don't mean nothing to me when they come to my wife. I don't give a damn about that. We, first of all, I, we're not letting your, your cousins, Mandrell, you not get into our relationship. <laughs> Nobody's getting involved in our relationship. This is us. This ain't got nothing to do with You heard that, Mandrell. I appreciate you. I love you. But this is Here's, here's my thing with that. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I'll I'll let I let everyone know where I stand. Looking for a loan. I'm not coming to you for looking for mm -hmm. no type of a financial support. We 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 gonna struggle together. We gonna make it together. That's we it. Do it. But that's yeah. the conversation we need to have. We yeah. not let right. no outside forces come in and circle. Right. We're not it's, coming in and circle, it. messing this shit up. It's here's my thing. Here's my thing. Here's my thing, you uh, can, here's my thing with us. that. Hank. You can send your words of advice, but don't come over with that bullshit. We, I we got you. Here's my this. thing. We here's my thing with I got you. Here's my thing, and I'm being honest. When it comes to my sister, if she is married, because I'm gonna fit the man as well, right? If she is married, anything if you're putting her hands on the wrong on the on her the wrong way, yes, I will intervene. Anything other than that? Oh, hold on. Anything, other, anything other than anything other hold on, hey, hey, let me finish. Anything other than that. Anything other than that is none of my business. Mandrell, I don't roll like that. I don't roll like that. I know, I know, I know you. Uh, if you don't, like I'm just saying that's that's how I feel about it. And now she I mean, anything other than here's the thing. And if you, yeah, if you now if you if you need your financial <laughs> strays, if you have financial uh, financial uh, peril, you need money. I'm gonna no, come and give the money to you, not no, her. No, 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 you're the hang on, and your family. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Here's, here's the thing. Here's what he's going to have to understand. That. If he, I'm, I'm married, if he marries into our family, he's family. And our family looks out for one another. Uh, but, Period. But, 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 we got each girl, other's back. You got to respect my wishes. Oh, fair right? enough. That's, that's, that's your you wishes? Respect my wishes. I'm going to come to you. I appreciate your offer. Shoot, shoot. Please don't accept your brother's money. Please I told you back. I'm not going to her. I'm going to you. I, but I'm I, but I'm gonna turn you. I'm gonna turn you down off off top. 
So I'm letting you know right now. I'm turning to your dad. And I'll ask you. And you I'm, got I'm, it? I'm gonna talk, and I'm going to talk to my wife. Shoo, shoo. Don't accept this money. We appreciate it. Thank you, brother. But we good. We're going to make it. We I promise you. Pray for us. Keep us All in right. your prayers. We're going to make it, though. I Come on, you know that, and, and you know what I have to do in, in that situation. Security boss, hello. <laughs> you know what I do in, this, in that situation. What you gonna boss? do? What you gonna do? Respect. You gonna you I gonna put my money back in my right? pocket? I put my money back in my pocket, and I'll go home. All right, shoo oh, shoo. What you got to add to this? It's that communication. It's that communication. Yeah, I put my pocket, my money back in my pocket, and I'll go home. Okay. We are gonna have our money in one pot. Come on. Together. I'm gonna bring everything I got. Everything I got. Oh, that so, sounds lovely right, right there. Yes. We gonna we gonna hear it. We gonna have all access. There's not gonna be no secret sauce, uh, no secret rain rainy day fun. Ain't none of that shit going on. No, so they, they, they act like you're not right above them in the top right hand corner. I know, right? Come here. Here's the thing, scared, here's the thing, scared, here's the thing, scared, here's the thing scared, boss. If, if I had to go off the data that I have on Hank now, just to be going off the data that I have on him, I would approve. Oh my God! Anyway, Mushu, will you please help us right now? Can you add? I'm just saying, I would. I would approve. You, know you, you know what, Shushu, you done came in here. Look at the, you didn't got these boys started already. He, 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 he just said the same thing I said. In a wait, in a marriage, he's all in. No, wait, 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 wait. I'm all in. All my chips on the table. But you I'm don't wake in. up. And get, mm -mm, you don't wake up and get married. That's a process. That's a process. Of course, there's a process. Oh, yeah, sure. I said I had to vet. I had. I would have to vet him more, but. The, the, the sure. information I have now sounds promising. No, no, not I have to, I have to bet her more. And I, I have to talk to my sister. Before I bless Shushu with my last name, I, I I got to learn her. I got to get to know her. I got to know everything. That I mean, I, no stone will be left unturned. I know that's right. That's what I'm talking about. Shushu, if you were Mandrell's color, your cheeks would be so like red right now. Me, they really I would. They are red. They are red. Look at her. Yeah. He, he, that, that's, that's a man. That's a man that's sitting over there. Realistic vibe says Shushu done had an arranged marriage. Laugh out loud. SB show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you done arranged it. It's already I, done. I, I choose you right now. I'm going to get my license and I'm going to start marrying folks. So it's Now, Hank, we got to talk about the dowry. You can. Listen, you can cash out me the $50 later. You got to talk about the dowry, Hank. Oh, no, we got the dowry. Yeah, we got to talk about the dowry, Hank. You can cash out me the $50 later on. If you ain't for it, we ain't doing it. So what you call it when you... Oh, I'm going to give y'all a marriage on credit. The $50. credit? What is that? Billy Beloved. The $50 that come later. We did that on Black Man Unfiltered show already. So that's, that's, yeah. I'm, I'm, right right I'm going to do it right in the moment so y'all can't change our minds. So, <laughs> Shushu, go ahead and tell us what you have to add. For. I hope yeah. you haven't forgotten. Did you forget? Right. Um, what that initial conversation was about. Yeah, because you had the pen going. You was like, can I? Can I? And then now. I, I know. Um, that's the scenario when if, if man's ego, if woman making yeah. more money. Right. Oh yeah. When I was saying like a um, I mean, well, me and you was married, and, I, <laughs> and someone just stole you away from me, huh? Uh, uh oh. No way, Mel. Uh oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, you I make you was married, then Hank stole no. you away from me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Thank you, Mr. Hey, Mel. Hey, Mel. You Thank you, Mr. Mel. Mel. If you don't show, if you don't show your face, ain't no space. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Boss. You don't need Come no this like Mel, if you want a woman over here, you got to show your face. I marry you on credit. Shoot, shoot. You got big brothers over here. We ain't allowing this. Sure. <laughs> I'm team. I'm team Hinkalink. Man, I can't steal what I, what, you, what he never had. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh New York pimp right here is hard. Yeah, I mean, he he had he would have to come to like family reunions and whatnot and stuff like that and see how he meshes with the family. That's a process. Before I give my sister away to anyone, because I'm the one who has to walk it down the aisle, because I dearly departed right. father is departed. Wait a minute, I, she is now my responsibility. Listen, I take this seriously. Responsibility. There's no, there is no aisle. We've already said how this is going to happen. It's going to be a wedding no credit. I'm doing there's, it. There's no such thing as that. There's nobody that's opportunity that's to change their mind. That's the only thing is that. I, I'm married on credit. No opportunity. You cannot change your mind. What's oh, you, you, you got the marriage papers and everything. We're going to the courthouse and we, we're going to have a big old. Boss is the justice of the peace or whatever. We're going to have a big old party afterwards. Oh, I'm coming. I'm going to be right there. I'm going to be right there. I'm singing at that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 the very process for that, it, it is it is, it is, is a serious matter. I mean, it's yeah, something. Mandra, I'll, I'll, I'll sing at the wedding. Huh? I'll sing at Hell the wedding. Hell no. Hell no. 
Can we have a moment of silence for Shushu, please? What? Yes. She's not dead. She's been trying to speak for like the last. I'm sorry, Mary. Uh, Shamaria, go, go ahead. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so um, basically, I guess when it comes to um, to marriage in itself, like uh, it, it's very important for the couple to come together and, and beforehand, before they get to the altar and talk about what he like the finances, how you know uh, how they they what their financial values are because um, it's important. That's important. That's how you not end up with women who like, oh, my money is my money, and but your money is our money. That type of thing um all that has to be discussed beforehand and it, no you shouldn't let outside forces in your in your business i.e having conversations with your friends having conversations with your family um especially like because what tends to happen in in those situations you tell everyone all the negative but you don't tell all the positive so a lot of times that's how the family end up turning against your significant other because all they know is just the negative stuff they don't know any any of the positive stuff like, oh my God, girl, he made me breakfast this morning. I ain't hear nothing about that. Oh my God, I was feeling down today and he he just sent me a card or he called me and sang a song to me. You don't hear nothing about that. So it is important um, to to keep people out of your business because, you know, people don't have the best intentions in mind. And um, I think something else too that's important, I think that, that people need to realize um, why they're getting married or why they want to be married. Because you mm -hmm. have a lot of people who do things particularly with marriage they just because they think that it's what they're supposed to do not necessarily because it's what they want to do and so with a lot of guys like when women say they want to be married i think a lot that's the issue too you have women out here who get married or say they want to be married not necessarily because they want to be married but it's because they think that they're supposed to do it so, um, but either way, um, I remember my mom, my mom told me, she was like, you know, when, when you get married, you got to make sure she's a marriage is a business. Whoever you get married to, you got to make sure they know how to handle business. So, you know, it's, it, and, and meaning it's, it's a responsibility on both sides. You know, you, you got to come to the table responsible and, and ready for that. So, and that's important and all that needs to be discussed beforehand, not after. So, yeah. They jacked you up, didn't they? They did. You like I'm in in, 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 um, in um, marriage and uh, in. <laughs> they did. I was like, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, that thing about because that's 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 totally what you were not getting ready to say. <laughs> right. I was in. Just you threw me all off. I was like, okay. Oh wow. All right. All yeah. Right. So thank you though. Thank you for that, Miss C. How are you doing tonight? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. How are you guys? We're doing well. We're doing very well. So what do you have to add to we don't went we don't went all over the place. We back. <laughs> it was good. It was good. I saw y'all making shoo shoo blood. She still left. <laughs> like the raw B done ducked out on us. I don't believe she just ducked out on us like that. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> so I wanted to actually answer the initial question. Um right. What should a submissive woman get in return? Um, and I would say that she would get whatever it is that she wants. Um, well, when you first get married, like when I say, I think I talked about when I first got married, I wanted to have things my way, you know, and I didn't get them. But in time, I've learned that through submitting to my husband there is not a thing that i can sometimes i don't have to ask you know and i'm not talking about just tangible things i'm saying just life in general like we think of protection sometimes as somebody who's going to jump out and, and beat somebody up from you but sometimes the protection i receive is protection from my children because children will mommy you and in your nature you want to give and do and you, you watch your parents give, but my husband is the one that draws the line. You know, leave your mother alone, go sit down. You know, he makes sure that I have that time for myself because I'll give everything that I have to them. Um, I sometimes get protection from myself. You know, you can get in your own head and start thinking and analyzing and you need a sounding board. And generally speaking, 
Um, like a man is not going to sit and listen to you talk to him. That's what you have your friends for. But there are times when you need the counsel of, you know, your husband to come in because he knows you in a way, you know, maybe that other people don't know you so he can speak to your weaknesses. Um, I think submission also gets you a mirror. Um, there's some things that you don't learn about yourself until you get married. So it's easy to look and say, you know, either you're going to get on my program or I'm not marrying you. You just don't have to have it figured out. And the reality of the matter is you don't have it figured out. And when you're holding that strict judgment on someone else, you'll be the first person to either be alone or you'll find how many weaknesses you have. And I think a lot of times people get into a relationship and they are faced with their flaws. And because they've been so proud, they, it's too hard to walk those things back in humility and fix them. So it's easier to save face and walk away and blame the other person. Absolutely. It takes a level of humility. And when you're submissive, you get handled with care. Um, I've had flaws and faults brought to my attention, things that I wouldn't have wanted anyone else to know. I wouldn't have wanted, you know, put on display on Front Street. And because I've handled him in such a way, he handles me in a way where my flaws aren't on Front Street. My, my weaknesses aren't put out there for everyone to see. If I do something that I'm already beating myself up for, I don't have to worry about him coming behind me and beating me up as well. If anything, he's there to encourage and to support me. Sometimes I know I'm like all over the place. Things are disorganized. I'm late. I've missed appointments. Dinner is late, you know, and it can go on for a season of time. And he'll be like, you are doing such a good job. And in my mind, I'm like, I'm, I'm, you know, falling apart. But those are the things that, you know, tangible things that you get. Um, somebody who understands emotionally where your weaknesses are, where other people may see, see strengths. Um, but then you get the intangibles too. You know, you, you get the benefits of not having to ask or, you know, the, for the, the things that you want. You know, I worked for a long time and I worked a lot of hours and I don't have to do that anymore. If I don't want to leave out of my house, I don't have to, you know, um, I don't have to, I, I have a less stressful life. I don't carry that load any longer of, you know, trying to plan things out and making sure that, I mean, I, I don't carry that, that weight anymore. And when you don't have that weight, you become uh, lighter. You know, you're able to laugh and have fun. You're a little bit more carefree because you don't have to handle that stress and that pressure of life, that's something that he takes on. And because I've chosen to submit to his plan, if things go wrong, he bears the weight of that. Now I'm there to encourage and to support and to help him, but I'm not responsible for those decisions because I come under his leadership and I do what he's asked for me to do. I do it 100%, I do it as if it was my plan, but the failure of those things rests on his shoulders and I'm there to support him. And that's a stress that I don't have to carry. Yes. So, um, wow. That's, that's very that's, good. Those are the things that I think that those are just some of the things that I feel like you get when you submit to his plan. You know, there was one other thing, too, I wanted you to elaborate on. Or we can we should elaborate on a little bit more as far as protection. Um, protection is too. there's a spiritual protection um, that a man that a, your husband gives you uh, with, with equals somewhat like a balance. And it's freeing. Because he can tell you things about you, like you just said, um, he came to you and said to the kids, leave mommy alone. You know, mm -hmm. he saw that you were, uh, I, I don't know what the word I want to use, but you were at the frazzled. end. The you were, there you go. You, you were frazzled. So <laughs> it's a spiritual thing for a man to be able to say, um, to, to, for him to protect you from, it protects you from the world. I mean, guess what? By bringing you home. Uh, allowing you to be at home gives you a certain amount of peace to be able to manage your home and be a good mother and a good wife to him. I said this, I think last week or so, men, if you're not in a position yet, please make it so that your wife can be home before you. Ladies, if you know you need additional income, get jobs like uh, being a teacher. You know, you can work that 10 month 10 months out of the year or a substitute teacher, something like that, that you can be a good mother and a good wife and be home before your husband gets there. That is something that 
I'm going to say is a must. I know it may not um, be easy to do that, but try to look for a profession that gets you home before your husband. Men, try to make that a place where your wife can do that. I'm telling you, it will take away so much stress if, if she cannot have to work as hard as you do or not as long as you do, I should say. A woman should be at home before her husband, preparing a home for her children and her husband. And, and she just made it crystal clear. She says, I can leave the house when I want to now. Um, so her work is done at home. And it's, it's such a big difference. I don't know if you've, you said you used to work hard, right? See, I, I bet it's a lot of hours. Like I I and and when we first got married, I, I worked, I worked and I worked a lot of hours. Um, you cannot I take care of your home well doing that, you know. So anyway, mm -hmm. whatever y'all have to do, men, whatever you have to do, just keep that kind of stuff. And ladies, keep that kind of stuff in consideration about the, the kind of, um, or even a nurse. You know, nurses work like three days, long three days, but they're all four. But something like that. Do something where you can pour into your family, also contribute to your family and your husband. Keep that. That stuff really makes a difference if you indeed have to work. And I understand that because everything is, it's crazy. We have inflation. It's worse. What well, it has been this way in what the last 40 years? 40 years. 40. 40 years. And it's getting worse. So I understand that women and men both have to work, but guys, y'all make sure y'all have that plan and 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 you know, write everything down because if you got to take two babies to the daycare, mama, you might as well stay at home. Stay at home. You know, stay at home. You got gas. You got you save on gas, daycare, food, clothing, Ooh. all of that. So make sure you have a plan because I don't know where this is going. I really hope it turns around really soon, but um, it may not. We may be in this play for, place for another three years. Three years. <laughs> we all over it over here. Can three I say years. one more thing? Oh, sure, sure. Know. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. No, you're fine. I just, I, I just wanted to say, um. One of the biggest things, one of the biggest areas where I had to submit that was difficult, but I feel like it was the biggest payout. If you have a man that wants to have his own business and it's solid, you know, not just something frivolous, support whatever it is that he's doing. You know, my husband had a, before I, before we ever got married, he used to always talk about what he was going to do. And I used to be like, this guy is always walking around talking about, you know, what it is that he's going to do. And, um, over the years, I watched him. I watched him do that work. I watched him go through the training. I watched him get to the place. And when he decided that he was going to open his business, it was extremely, um, I was afraid because oh. we were giving up a, a great amount of security. But um, I was like, you know what? If this is what you want to do, if this is going to make you happy, then we're going to do it. And the success that he's seen in doing that and the way, you know, what that provides for us now, the things that we're able to do, the things we're able to provide for our children. Um, because of that business, I'm not, I don't have to, I mean, I work for him, but I don't, you know, I like my boss, so that's all right. Um, Absolutely. That, I mean, that I'm something that, that it's his own thing, you know, that, that, that's our families. And there's something about working for yourself and for your own family that's much more fulfilling than working for someone else that that's ours that's that's what's gonna you know that's our legacy and i don't think that um our life would be the way that it is now i don't think he would um i don't think that um our family would be what it is now if we didn't struggle through that together and make his dream happen so we are living his dream which allows you to you know live your dream so i think that's important so listen, you are exactly right. And it's, it, you get nervous. Women get nervous because it, it, it alters our security and stability. But listen, my husband and I are also business owners and it's going to get tough out here for us coming up. So remember that, remember who you serve, remember who has your back and continue because we can too get through this and, you know, it may not look as good, you know, because sometimes it look real good. But sometimes it looked like, but then when you reflect on it, you'd be like, you know what? I really didn't miss anything, but it just seems different. So keep all of that in mind. Stay connected. You know, don't let this inflation and all this junk that's going on keep you from um, being the woman, the submissive wife that you are. And I always support them because it's going it, it makes them it hurts them more. It's just it goes back to what black man was saying, because it's like, oh, my money is dwindling. 
what yep. can I do? Yep. What can I do? So, all right, guys, listen. This has been an awesome show. I just love all y'all. We done got somebody married halfway. See them blessed us. Man, red red. Lipstick vibes didn't got a ring. Red, 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 red lipstick vibes. Listen, red lipstick vibes. You out there. I'm going to get my license. And you can come over, you and your man. And I can marry y'all too. We got what, six other witnesses. We'll be okay. They see. Check your email. It's going to be all the way real. But... <laughs> If you love them hard enough, it, it'll feel like it's real. <laughs> so listen, guys, thank you so much, chat. And my panel. Listen, thank you so much for being here. Mel, all of you, Mandrell, Mr. Steele, Pink, you know. Missy, Candison, Dusty, stay off them dusty channels. Don't be entertaining, security boss. Dusty, don't be over there selling yourself to Melanie. I don't want to see you over there no more doing that. Wow. The dust, the, 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 the dusty channels are entertaining, security boss. Yeah, well, I'm going sure. for the dusty streets too. So sure you troll. come back. We gotta, we gotta make sure we stay focused. We gotta make sure we stay focused. And my co-host, Black Man, we do this together, and I appreciate you so much. Listen, guys, tomorrow night, go ahead and um, shout it out, Black Man. Yes, sir. tomorrow night uh, on Black Man Unfiltered, you may see a of some familiar faces in the place tomorrow. But tomorrow night uh, on Black Man Unfiltered Network, we're going to talk about something that's real serious that we we hinted on a little bit tonight. Um, so you may see uh, Hink there. I see, see the email as well because it'll be great to have her perspective on this conversation about um, my wallet, my choice. Uh, talking about whether we should have the money in one pot or whether we should not, and should we be uh, should we be marriage material if we're doing that. So we're going we're gonna to talk about that tomorrow. 8.30 Central Standard Time, Black Men and Filter Network. Peace. All right, guys. Listen, thank you so much, and we will see you soon. Y'all have a good night. I thought you were too scared. Us, you're off. Sorry, Mom. I just thought you were my world. Now you're not. And I'm just sitting, smoking, sloping in the days, because my days ain't been the same since I drove here. I remember the way you wrote letters in blue ink. You and me was in love. What your crew think? I know your mom's probably thinking that. Your pops probably want to beat my death and take a to my death. But I got sick of fighting, bickering, fussing over nothing, cussing instead of and watching the death of discussions that we once had, days that we once spent in the backseat of our cars, we were poets at sunset. It's funny how love can pull out the foreground, get pushed into the back of your mind. We used to twist this cliff and laugh and relax. Are you crying? And I'm trying to find the reason, so I ask, does forever ever happen? Or is it always fade to black? I can't stay. No, I always gotta go. Playing house to stay home with my soul on the road. I can't stay. No, I always gotta go. Playing house to stay home with my soul on the road.